just get this going. There, ready. We're all set. Now, to begin, tell me, what do you see? I don't know. Okay. Try this. Focus on your vision. Did you feel it too? Take your stuff. We're getting out of here. We've got a problem. Call them back. go quickly. Come on. Damn it. Hurry up. Calm down. Maybe it has nothing to do with the party. You know full well I was in charge of it. If anything goes wrong, it's my head on the chopping block. Fuck. Damn it! It took Hazel months to convince the Hartford Chantry to ally themselves with us. So they finally accept, and then bam, a code red. There's never been a code red in Boston, damn it! This has gotta be bad, M.M. It's not like you had anything to do with it. I'm sure... You don't get it. I was in charge of organizing the party. But security is Jara's problem, Yeah, normally. except Jara is a member of the Primogen. I'm not. But you're a harpy. The prince will cover you. You know she's always looking for an excuse to take him down a notch. We'll see. What do we do next? When everyone's safe, we move on to phase two. We clean house. Did you say this is the first Code Red in Boston? Ever since the fall of London, protocol is no longer a laughing matter. Whatever. They've been harping on that for four years now. They took away our internet access, our smartphones. It's called risk mitigation, that's all. A Code Red is an alarm signal that's sent to everyone to say, watch out, we're all in danger. And everyone runs to shelter at the nearest safe house. For us, it's with the Prince. It could have been worse. I'd have preferred worse. You're not even listening to me. What comes after phase two? Just pray that it never comes to that. Come on, tell me. We run, we leave everything behind, and we go into hiding as far from here as we can. There's no way I'm leaving Boston. 
Everything I have is right here in the city. It took me years to build my clubs. I've worked too hard to give it up now. You won't have a choice. I know you hate coming here. Are you gonna be all right? What do you think? I know how to behave, Jay. Yeah, I know. Just keep your cool and it'll be fine. Ah, my little darlings. You're here at last. The fear that something horrible had happened to you terrified me. No call for theatrics, April. The prince asked to see you as soon as you arrived, Amin. I wouldn't dilly-dally if I were you. As for you, Journey, someone's triggered a code red. If anything has happened over there, I'll hold you personally responsible. Back in the day, nobody could bat an eyelash without you knowing about it. You must know exactly what Jay is being blamed for, don't you? Amen. My dear Amen. I adore you. Really, I do. But darling, please, you're way out of your league here. This alliance with the Hartford Chantry is crucial. The prince is on edge. We can't get through to anyone over there. Mm, what does this have to do with Jay? She was in charge of the whole thing, for goodness sake. Listen, both of you. From now on, I don't want to hear another word out of either of you. The prince is furious. Journey, you're coming with me. I don't see why. And as for you, Hazel wants to see you. Right now. Who's she, Galeb? M.M. Lewis. She smiles like a Toreador. Letters etched in bold right upon her teeth. What, what about want? that bearded guy who's swallowing his bile? Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock, then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, he could make the blood in your veins boil. Is court attendance usually this sparse? Under ordinary circumstances, there would be more of us here. Is it because of the Code Red? Could be. We should have all been at that party. But a Code Red is a Code Red. No one can leave. I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? He's second honcho of house security. This promises to be a busy night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. It's by no fault of their own. Do you think you'll be able to ask the prince tonight if you can embrace me? No. Now is no longer the time. And he is your child? Mr. Beryl Underwood. Tread lightly. He's a member of the Primogen. They're the check to the Prince's power. The check and balance. They backed Hazel when she rose to power after Quentin King. They'd hoped to control her. What? Things didn't go as planned? I just have a feeling she will surprise them. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters, and we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. 
but... Nothing can happen to you here. We're in the prince's house. She must be finished by now. Wait for me. This won't take long. It's out of the question, M.M. I won't let her get away with this. All right. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it to you? Don't start with me. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. Leave her out of it. It's too late for that. Don't waste your time covering for her. She's not a kid anymore. I haven't heard from my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on, then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon! What? Oh, come on, Hilda. She needs to grow up. Leave us. I don't need your help. Mem, please, stop calling me that. I was worried about you. You still haven't moved on, have you? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. People are staring. Do you know what this code red is all about? You're in the Primogen. You must know something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. Apparently, it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. Who's that? Jason Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the Primogen. As if now were the ideal time. She asked to see me. Do you know why? My best guess is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey. Of course. I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah, sure. I've gotta go. Hazel must be upstairs. I'd better hurry. Nor is Dr. Um, um. We haven't seen you here in ages now, have we? But Nobody's answering? No. Let's holster our weapons. I'm only here because of that goddamn code red. Blunt and to the point, as usual. With a bit of luck, your suffering will be over soon. How's business these days? Why? You want to invest? Don't tempt me. Hmm. I'm shocked to think you put so much as a penny into one of my clubs. They don't bring in enough of your taste, Beryl. You're right. I'm not interested in them. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. I'm waiting for Caleb. Sorry, ma'am, but I'm waiting for Caleb. Hey, Abby. Hey, ma'am. Abby, do you know what's going on? I'm sorry, but I can't. Please? I feel like I've been plopped down in the middle of a minefield. There are rumors about Journey. Rumors about how this is all her fault. Did you know that Jay was in charge of the party? Shit. I bet she's gonna take the fall for whatever happened. I don't think she's involved, but we've got to be on our guard. This party... Oh, God, all this stress. I hate it. What a shitty night. Hazel must be pissed. What the hell could she want with me?
everything okay, Mom? Penny, for your thoughts? Nothing, Pumpkin. What were you saying? You saw pictures again? You're not going back to the Institute, are you? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see things that haven't happened yet. And I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. But three years was too long. But now we'll be together forever. We'll be inseparable. Like two peas in a pod. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mom? What's going on? Why does everybody look so upset? I think something serious is happening. I'm worried. I still haven't seen Richard. I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? Uh, I was told to wait here because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming, and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie, but don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay, here I go. Laisha, it's been a while. Hey, Amen. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That, or she's a major drama queen. You shouldn't make light of the situation, believe me. There aren't many of us who have experienced a code red and survived. Thanks for the heads up, Professor Bazori. First Siaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? Maybe you asked for it. Or maybe if you behaved in a manner more appropriate to the circumstances and our setting, then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. Stop it right there, Bazori. Don't take that tone with me. I choose what lessons to take. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get, even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear, coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't gonna help us solve it. Yet, many of the things I saw ended up happening. Quentin King's disappearance, Hazel's rise to power, your breakup with Hilda too. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. Good evening, ladies, sir. The prince shall see you now. Hazel. Dalson. Come in, M.M. I wanted to have a word with you. What can I do for you? I'm glad you're here. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Tell me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the code red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Don't you worry about that for now. 
we have more urgent matters to attend to. We bring journey to me. What do you want with her? I have a few questions I need to ask her. If mistakes were made, I need to know what happened. I'm sure that your friend will have a lot to tell me. She hasn't done anything. Hazel, I'll be the judge of that. Yes, my prince. I'll be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I have something to offer you. I'm listening. It's about the Primogen Council. You know everyone who's in it. Beryl, Richard, Hilda. Their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now, they've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. That's nothing new. That's rule number one of all the Primogen. The contrary would be worrisome. That's what I thought too. But after tonight, well, I wonder. The Camarilla has faced many challenges in the past few years. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate, but for that, I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I, uh, what? You've always taken care of your community, M.M., without ever asking for anything in return. It might be time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Hilda won't let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seated next to her child? She'll feel humiliated. I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. I don't care. What I'm offering is much bigger than all that. What do you think? I don't know. I need to think about it. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it, but we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay, I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me Journey. I will. I have the utmost confidence in you, M.M. Do not fail me. You can count on me. What the hell is going on? M.M., I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, Syl. I'd like some refreshment, please. Of course, I'll get you a glass. I was thinking more like a vessel. Oh, serve yourself. But try not to damage them, okay? They're all I've got left in stock. I get it, I'll be careful. I'm right here if you need anything else. Can I help you? 
I've got to talk to Jay. You haven't seen her, have you? No, you should ask April. It's a good idea. Thanks for the advice. Do you still work for April? Well, aren't you rude? My loyalty is with the court. Seems like Bosley's leading you around by the nose, though. She's got some extra responsibilities, sure. But that's it. I have my own agenda. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. I've got stuff to do. See you later. <sighs> what a shitty night. Do you think the Code Red will last much longer? I hope not. The faster I get out of here, the better. What? And Mem Lewis, the Black Rattler's Rose, is afraid of a handful of politicians? God, no. <laughs> Fine. Let me know if I can do anything for you. I'm supposed to find Jay. Do you know if she's done talking to April? Huh. Good question. Uh, I saw her earlier, but she wasn't with Miss Bosley. She went into that alcove on your right, but that was a while ago. Thanks. You... You might want to avoid hanging around with her, you know? I've heard stuff about her. I know, and it's not true. She didn't do anything, all right? Fine. Sorry. Did you need anything else? Miss Iverson has the top floor all to herself. Yes, that's where she's got her office for hearings, as well as her personal quarters. Miss Bosley is the only one who has access to them. I heard the prince put together a surveillance unit. Yeah, the cave. Mr. Leto and his team spend their nights there. It's just below us. But don't even think about going down there. It's only for sewer rats. Thanks for the vessel. My pleasure. Come back any time you want. Underwood and Fang. Vizora's ears must be burning. I didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Did you want something, perhaps? You haven't seen Journey, have you? She's not here. It would be a shame if you've showed up too late. Watch it, Beryl. Come on, I was just kidding. I was just pulling your leg. I don't know anything about it. Say hi to Hilda for me when you see her, will you? What an asshole. We're good. I must be going. Hey, Fang. Good evening, Miss Lewis. Call me a man, please. Did you come with Caleb? Yes, but he's so very busy. You didn't happen to see Journey, did you? I'm sorry. I don't know everyone's names yet. April. Have you seen Jay anywhere? You can't let her out of your sight for two seconds. The Prince sent me to get her. I can't discuss that with you. Come on, she works for you. You know her. All right. Enough with the puppy dog eyes. I heard a couple of licks complaining about Journey. Even if she wasn't in charge of security, she's the one who organized the whole shindig. They all think she's responsible for this fiasco. But damn it, Jay hasn't done anything. Tell it to the prince, not me. Not that I think in a million years this is what happened, but what if Jay messed up somehow? What would happen to her? Depends on the mistake. And how bad the consequences were. At best, the prince will be mad. At worst? Destruction? Yeah. There's a good chance of that. Fine. I won't insist. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah. Sure. What attitude? It's a good thing I was careful earlier. I... I'm sorry about before. I'm just a little edgy tonight. I know. This isn't the first time we've gotten in a fight over nothing. 
Your child, Imani. She was there. Still no news? No. Radio silence. And Hazel refuses to talk to me. I spent months kowtowing to those Hartford assholes for this agreement. If she has the info, now's not the time to hold it back. These Hartford guys, how well do you know them? Well enough. I won't let things end like that. I'm looking for Journey. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. I assume you've already tried her office? You told me you knew the Hartford Warlocks well. Yeah, some of them. I was in touch with their representative, Deneb. He was supposed to replace me on the council. You're leaving us? Uh, not really. It's part of the agreement with the Chantry. Deneb and I were supposed to switch places. Why was Hazel doing business with them? She had plans for the blood market in the region. We were meant to be in charge of supplying high-quality blood. They were supposed to take care of stabilizing it, or try at least. That's nuts. Has anyone ever tried it before? Never. That's why I'm worried. I don't give a shit about Hartford, but this project is really important. I understand. Well, I'll leave you to it. I've got to find Jay. If I see Journey, I'll tell her you're looking for her. So, what exactly did Hazel want with you? Nothing specific, really. I think she's totally overwhelmed. I see. The poor thing's totally out of her depth. You understand why I'm worried? I don't need this right now. Oh, I've got to go. I've got stuff to do. Be careful. I told you I was looking for Jay earlier. And? And? I found the note she left you. I wonder what April would say if I showed it to her. You went through my stuff? Is that all you're worried about? Uh, no. It wasn't personal. Journey was in a panic. She asked me for the pass to get into Jara's apartment. Did she say why? Only that she was looking for evidence. I didn't really get it. Let's keep this between us, all right? April's got other fish to fry. I'll see about that. I'm going to find her. the shit out of me how did you find me you're really bad at covering your tracks are you alone what the hell is going on shit ma'am it's a fucking nightmare the code red is definitely because of the party april told me hazel was gunning for me she thinks i'm responsible for this shit show so you're hiding in drury's room i'm looking for evidence i saw that jara had the file on the party it's got all the contracts and stuff in it that will prove I did my job right. But I can't find them. It was my only shot to defend myself against her. Hey, slow down. It's gonna be all right. They don't have anything on you, do they? No, of course not. I did everything right, ma'am. I was the one who rented the place. Same as always. Rooftop, away from prying eyes. I met with Richard to organize the vessels. I arranged for limos to be sent for the Hartford Chantry. I went through the same secure limo agency as usual. They're ours, so there's no risk. What the hell could have gone wrong? I don't know. But there's no time to think about it. Hazel wants to see you. I... And she asked you?
It's gonna be fine, Jay. I'm sure you can explain everything. I'm scared, ma'am. Don't worry about anything. I'm here. I'll follow you. Laisha, it's good to see you. Be good, sweetie. How was your reunion with Halsey? Thank you, Hazel. Your gift was wonderful. You shouldn't have troubled. You're welcome. We should never have kept you apart for this long. Good evening, Delson. Good evening, Laisha. How are you feeling? I feel great. Better and better since I got my little sugar fangs back. Wonderful. I haven't seen Richard yet. Does he know I've been released from the Institute? No, I'm the Prince. It was my decision. He is your psychiatrist, but you don't need his permission for everything. He wasn't at the party, was he? I'm searching for everyone who's still missing. Don't worry about him. Thank you. Laisha, I know I can be frank with you. For four years, I have been working to heal the city's wounds. You've already helped me avoid traps in the past. You're not like the other children of Malkav. Quentin King knew that. The Mad King. I remember, yeah. I had you released from the Institute because your premonitions are the most detailed, the most accurate. I wanted them to help me understand the Chantry's hand more clearly before we signed our agreement with them. But this alert changes everything. I need to understand what's just happened. Did you sense anything, possibly about what happened tonight? I saw images, but they had nothing to do with this party. It didn't make any sense. It was a long, white hallway. It's a little early for sure, but it's a good start. I'm sorry, I can't be of more help. Don't be sorry. There's something else you can do for me. Your discretion can still be of use to me. I need to be sure that none of the members of my council are going to take advantage of the situation. You and Delson are the only two people I trust entirely. The members of the council have their council lodgings here. It gives them the impression that they have power, and it means I can keep an eye on them. I'm going to give you the key. Go and see if you find anything that could make me doubt their loyalty. Anything that might make me think there's something in the works. Uh, all right. Miss Drury burned the midnight oil to make sure this event was secret. I imagine there might be some evidence in the information she gathered. I need it. All right, consider it done. You've never disappointed me, Laisha. Please don't start today. Until then, I hope to have found more information. But above all, don't share what we've discussed with anyone. I don't need more gossip. Can I take Halsey with me? Of course. All right then. I'll be right back.
So this is where you've been hiding. What? Oh, Jesus, it's you. You scared the shit out of me. How did you find me? You're really bad at covering your tracks. Are you alone? What the hell is going on? Shit, ma'am. It's a fucking nightmare. Mom, I'm going to Richard's to see if he has my teddy. Okay. Come and find me when you're done. I hope Journey hasn't come looking for the same thing as me. Hazel told me to keep a low profile here. This area is reserved for the prince and her primogen. Shit. Hilda's in her office. She's going to see me. Alicia. Hmm. Restricted access means nothing to you, I see. Make yourself at home. Don't mind me. How am I not surprised? What doesn't surprise you? For you to turn up at a time like this. The prince had me released. Of course, she needs you. <laughs> I'm guessing she sent you to spy on the council. You don't become leader of a domain by blindly trusting everyone around you. You've scored a point, certainly. But I've supported the Prince's initiative with Hartford for months now. I was finally going to be able to explain my financial arrangements to them and convince them to let me manage their assets. And now everything's up in the air because of this stupid party. In any case, I don't expect you to believe me, but I'm on your side this time. For this once, you mean? I'm wasting my time with you. You can go back to nosing around for the prince. I won't keep you any longer. I won't bother you any longer. That's an excellent idea. Beryl's only looking out for himself, as usual. But that'll reassure Hazel. I shouldn't get too close. She might be able to sense me. Why did you come back? Why? Other than to show that you're doing just fine on your own. If you only knew everything I've done for you. Ma'am. Hilda's more concerned with the man than she is with Hazel. I hope she'll be happy to hear that. Richard's apartment. <laughs> he didn't change a thing, as usual. So, did you find your teddy? No, not yet. I'm not sure he's here. What about you? Did you finish your job for the prince? No. I haven't learned anything about this party yet. You wait for me here while I look around a little more, okay? Okay, Mom. Eddie... Are you almost done? Yes, I found something that might be of interest to Hazel. Does that mean we're going back to see the prince then? Let's go, Sugar Fangs. Laisha. I'm all ears. Everything went all right. I knew I could count on you. Was Halsey a good girl? Yes, as usual. Good. Were you able to find anything interesting in Ms. Drury's apartments? Yes. There was intel she had gathered on the guests, including those from the Hartford Chantry. Hmm. Anything about their regent, Deneb Osborne? Yes. He seems to be obsessed with memory magic. Interesting. I gave everything to Delson. Thank you. I'll take a look at it later. Were you able to see or hear anything interesting? Beryl was in his office. He wasn't surprised to see me. Apparently, he supported your alliance with Hartford in earnest. 
He's very upset about what happened. Hmm. If there's someone I would have thought would be gloating about the situation, it would have been that snake. That's reassuring. Hilda was in her room. She was acting strangely. What do you mean? She was whispering things, talking to a picture of a man. Touching, but that's of no importance. At Dijon's, I found a letter addressed to the Salem Chantry. Did he betray me for the warlocks? I don't know. It just said that he's participating in your project, but that he would have preferred an agreement with Salem. Oh, I understand his recent illusions a little better now. I'm going to need to have a word with him. Go on. That's all I was able to find. All? Don't be so modest. I must admit you've gone above and beyond my expectations. Thank you, Leisha. Richard still wasn't there. Were you able to find out anything else? Yes. One of my servants just came back from his bar, the Red Salon, as that's where he does his research. I had hoped to find him there. But she confirmed that Dr. Dunham had gone to the party early with a few of his vessels. I'm sorry, Leisha. No. If he had been destroyed, I would have felt it. I have to go find him. You're the most discreet of all of us, it's true. But we have no idea what might have happened there. It could be dangerous. I won't be alone. Halsey will be with me. Of course. And one last thing. Dr. Dunham wasn't the only one there. There was also Miley, my child. Bring her back to me. Yes, of course. We'll leave right away. I wouldn't expect anything less of you. Thank you, Leisha. M.M., come here. Thanks, M.M. You've brought me Journey. I knew I could count on you. Jay is waiting in the antechamber. She's nervous. Tell Delson to go easy on her. We'll see about that. Did you need me for anything else? Not right now, but I will soon. I have one more favor to ask of you. All right, I'll be waiting in the next room. Delson. Zori. It seems that the Camarilla is in danger. I am at your disposal. Your sense of duty is a credit to you, Caleb. You haven't lost your touch, I hope. The Code Red is linked to the Unification Party with the Chantry. No one there is answering anymore. How many of us were there? Probably a good twenty, give or take. Dr. Dunham and our top spy, Jared Rory, were already there. Hmm. We might have lost two members of the Primogen. What about Hartford? Have you heard from them? If those dogs had anything to do with what happened, I'll cut their throats myself. Do you think they might be involved? I don't know. It's too early to draw any conclusions. Where do you want to start? Can I... can I count on you? You have no reason to doubt me. One by one, the Anseli heed the beckoning and go east. You're the eldest in the city now. Don't do this to me. Not now. I would be very grateful to you. And Fang. How may I be of service? Go and see Caius, with Jaragon. He's in charge of security. He may have learned something. You can count on me. You have my absolute confidence, Caleb.
Mr. Underwood, I'm sorry, but my instructions are clear. You little shit. I'm just following orders. You have no idea what's at stake. My most honored sire, you're wasting your time here. I'd forgotten about your abject fawning. I call it respect. It appears that it's something that sewer rats know nothing about. Apparently, Caius feels he's entitled to refuse to see a member of the Primogen. I won't forget it. This is the kind of thing you delegate to a retainer under normal circumstances. What matter is so urgent that you've come to see Caius yourself? I would have gone to Jara, but she's disappeared. All I want is the due privileges to be expected for someone of my rank. Contact with the outside world. The Prince doesn't approve of that sort of privilege, especially not now. Perhaps you have forgotten, but the world doesn't revolve around the Boston court. Things are happening everywhere. Things I need to manage before they escape my control. Tell me, you haven't introduced me to your charming protege yet. Zhu Feng. <laughs> yes, Zhu Feng. A name that's as delectable as her blood, I'm sure. Ah. You're planning to introduce her to the very select club of Galeb Bazori's progeny, aren't you? I don't see how that's any of your business. Oh, you're the epitome of discretion where family matters are concerned. <laughs> I can't wait to discuss our special relationship with her. You will speak of nothing with her at all. Is that an order? A word of advice. Oh, pardon me. I fell out of the habit of receiving advice from you so long ago. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must end this ever so pleasant conversation. <laughs> I need to find a way to avoid losing too much money. Mr. Bazori, can I help you? I need to see Caius. He doesn't want anyone to bother him. Prince's orders. I see. He's holed up in the server room. You'll need a pass to get in. There's one on his desk. Thank you. Mr. Leto is very busy. I imagine she sent you. Finally, some good news on this shitty night. What's the situation? Not good. Not good at all. The Prince needs more than that. I hope you've got it. You want details. Tell me what happened. Everything was going as planned until 11.10 p.m. The Prince's child, Miss Sellers, contacted me. The Hartford Warlocks had just arrived. That's the last time we heard from any of them. Less than 20 minutes later, we received the code red, just as we were leaving to join them. Who sounded the alert? A man named Wu. Ever heard of him? A retainer, one of Jason Moore's bodyguards. Moore? The asset manager? What was he doing at the unification party? He was supposed to answer technical questions about the financial viability of the agreement. Moore is good at hiding our kind trafficking. He's one of them, after all. And you're the one who received the Code Red, personally. It arrived directly, here. It's authentic. I verified it. Anything that could be of interest to the Prince? I'm working on it. Jara Drury is the expert, not me. If only she was here. Any movement with the Anarchs? As usual, they're keeping their distance. You know it's always a pain in the ass to locate them. Any sign of Jara? Nothing at all. And that's not good. 
According to the protocol, she should have been there early. If they got hit, she would have been first in line. Any word from Hartford? Do you think it's them? It would be ill-fated. I knew we should never have trusted those damn warlocks. There's one thing we haven't considered. The Crimson Oaks. They were behind the Quincy Market attack, weren't they? I don't have any proof. We just caught a thin blood who wanted to trap the prince, and who told us about them. Apparently they're new in town, but Miss Drury thinks he's giving us the runaround. Did you look into it? I tried, but I didn't have the resources to discover anything else. Leave no stone unturned. Hello. You. It's about damn time. Shit. What? You're... Hello? Damn it! I lost them. Who was it? Wu. Shit. Now it's just ringing. What did he say? The party was indeed attacked. Apparently it was a real bloodbath. He and James had just enough time to get more out. They're stopping by his place to pick up some sensitive documents. And then what? Are they coming here? I don't know. We got cut off. Call him back. I'll inform Hazel. This is a critical moment for us. I have summoned you here tonight to organize our reaction to an imminent threat. What threat exactly? We've got no reason yet to Cut think- Cut her off again and I'll slit your throat. Oh, excuse me. Careful, Hazel. How dare you speak to me like that? Enough! You... I command you to be silent and listen to me. Oh, so that's how it is. That's enough, Beryl. Yes, it's come to this. You would do well to listen to your sire. We have just been attacked. This is not a time for childish displays of discontent. Galeb, the Code Red was sent by Wu. Go to Moors and find out what's going on. As you wish. And bring more back to me. He was supposed to be at the party. I don't understand why he's the only one who was able to call us. I would like to speak to him very much. Consider it done. I trust you. He might be involved in this. So gather any documents you can find there that could tie us to him. Very well. Delson, see if you can get Caius to find us a new middleman in the cane business to manage our interests. I don't want to take any chances. Then I want you to talk to everyone. Somebody must have seen or heard something. Dajon. Make sure all our defenses are in place. Yes, Hazel. M.M., you will go to the old Jefferson Library. What's there? That's where the Hartford Chantry calls home here. I gave them the building so they could have a base in Boston. I demand to take her place. Request denied. What game are you playing, Hazel? It's a suicide mission. It's all right. I got this. I'm not made of sugar. She's not ready for this kind of mission. I should go with her, at the very least. No, you will remain here. Emem goes alone. Why don't you send Dajan instead? Enough, Hilda. Dajan has work to do elsewhere, and I don't need to explain myself. Hazel, if anything happens to her, I'll... Nothing, Hilda. You'll do nothing. It's high time you learned to trust her. Which one of us are you planning to send to the party? She's already left. What? Who? I sent Laisha. Are you serious? A few hours ago, she was snoozing behind locked doors in a psych ward. You're playing a dangerous game, Hazel. 
Without us, you would never have come into power. You've chosen the worst possible moment to turn your back on us. On the contrary, I find this moment very appropriate. I am the Prince of Boston, and you are the Primogen. I owe you nothing. Delson, escort them out. The session is adjourned. You all have your instructions. for what you've done. Nothing you'll remember. Me? No! So old me. Prison? What am I doing here? I have to get out of here. That's weird. I don't see a keyhole, but it's definitely locked. I bet it requires magic. If it does, I'm not going to be able to unlock it from here. Ugh, it's stuck. I'm so hungry. Now what? The library. I've been here before. It's me. I don't get it. Is this a memory? Where did they disappear to? Ugh. What am I doing here? Change shoes. Hello? Anybody here? Hazel and her damn plans. Hazel. She wanted me to talk to the warlocks. Osborne is here. I have to find him. What's that doing here? You shouldn't have come here. Warlocks attacked me. They're the ones who locked me up here. But why? I really gotta get out of here. Oh. 
Osborne's gonna have some explaining to do. Are you sure? Yes. Look at me. I've been dreaming about this moment for six years. I never experienced anything so powerful. Ah, the taste of your blood on my tongue. Your hands. Your teeth. It was... I could never forget it. is broken like someone ripped it off it took a colossal amount of strength to break it where's king we already told you which he's not here but i came here to see him i don't have time to waste i'm leaving <laughs> oh no you're not it's not that easy you can't just walk away, Morgana. I've told you to stop calling me that. Okay, that's enough. I'm leaving. Grab her. What the hell are you doing? Let go! Stop! No! Oh, the bad fairy's got some fight in her. Get your hands off me, you psychos! Shut up, slut. We've seen you slithering around the king, Morgana. Whore! Let go of me! What are you waiting for? Make her drink! Pull the chain! No! Pull the headlamp! No! It's not that! Stop! Stop! I remember it now. My screams, their voices in my head. It went on for three whole nights. Why put me through that again? What the hell is your problem? Ici Radio Nationale France. Mesdames, Messieurs, le Président vous parle. Française, Français, c'est le beurre lourd que je vous annonce avoir demandé à nos adversaires de mettre fin aux hostilités. Non par faiblesse, mais parce que la situation militaire l'imposait. Dès le 13 juin, cette demande d'armistice était inéluctable. Ce renoncement vous oh, surprend. Off, please. Vous non. You were right. They caved in. What do we do now? They won't stop there. If Bordeaux falls... We'll be long gone by the time Bordeaux falls. I thought Boston had refused our petition for asylum. They have, but I've got friends in the London court who could help us. What friends? People close to the Prince. They're arranging passage for us. It should only be a matter of days now. We left for London three days later. The authorization came just after that. Oh, I hate to admit it, but I don't know what we would have done without the Brits.
king won't listen to you. Why not? He's the prince of this fucking town, isn't he? He's a milk. Do you seriously think you can trust him? So what am I supposed to do? Just close my eyes and forget it happened? So I told Hilda about what happened. Mem, listen to me. I know you want those psychos to pay for what they did to you. But don't confront King head on. Are you fucking kidding me? He's dangerous. Quentin has been weakened. If you humiliate him like that, he'll jump at the chance to make an example out of you. But I don't want to humiliate him. I want justice. They're his men, ma'am. If you accuse them, you'll be undermining his authority. Trust me, don't tell anyone. How can you say something like that? After what they did to me. I'm trying to protect you. Fuck you. My love, please. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. I just want to protect you. You Stop are... Stop saying that. They had their way for three fucking nights and you want me to just keep it to myself? Yes. Yes, I want you to keep quiet about it. Stop rushing into things without thinking about them first. Can't you see that's what got you into this Shut mess? Up! Shut up! Just shut the fuck up. I'm out of here. I never want to see you again. I left Boston that same night. Alone. Heartbroken. How could you do that to me? Is that the exit? I did it! Ah! Ugh. Ugh. My head. What the? Shit! Clyde, get the neb. She got out! What? How on earth could no she- No time for that! Go get him! Out. I'm out? Oh, who cares about Deneb? Do you think Iverson gave a shit when she offed all our guys? Huh? Wait, Iverson, are you talking about the party? It... it wasn't us. And now she's awake. Great. What do you mean it wasn't you? Don't fall for her act. She came here to destroy us. Don't forget it. What are they talking about? I'm not here to... Uh, we thought you were behind the attack. We... Just can it. You can stop the little dance routine already. It's not gonna work on us. So spit it out. Why did your bitch of a prince betray us? You. You're gonna start by dialing it down enough. You can't talk to me I like... could care less. It's not you I've come to talk to. You've got to be kidding me. Where's your boss? Here. Miss Lewis, I presume. Osborne. At last. Well, you certainly are resourceful. Few people are able to escape from memory traps without assistance. Though I doubt you were able to escape with your memory unscathed. My memories. Yes, that's right. I hope for your sake that you haven't forgotten any of them along the way. Otherwise, I fear that the memory fragments you have lost will be gone forever. Is this some kind of joke? I'm afraid not. But there's no reason to let it get you down. They might one day come back to you. The effects are not always permanent. You have nothing to worry about if you've been thorough. Let's put the matter behind us. Now that you're here and conscious, we'll be able to talk. Why did you lock me up? You represented a threat. A threat? I just wanted to talk to you. And why, pray tell? 
to explain the reasons for your prince's betrayal? The prince is on edge. She thought you might have been behind the attack. But seeing your reaction, I'm guessing you're not. Hmm. You're putting me in a somewhat awkward position. I would like to take you at your word, but that would mean putting what's left of my men in danger. If you're telling the truth, you're going to have to prove it. Honestly, if I wanted to finish the job, do you seriously think I would have come all by myself? Hmm. Point well taken. Go on. I'm listening. You have to believe me. We're not responsible for the attack at the party. The prince will be relieved to know that you're all safe and sound. If only that much were true. Many of our brethren were in attendance at that accursed reception. You need a reason for my presence. The prince is worried about you. That's why I've been sent, to make sure you're safe. Very well, my dear. I would like to believe that you are not here to finish the job, as they say. However, the idea that your prince sent you to help us. Iverson may be many things, but she is most certainly not sentimental. You're right. That isn't the only reason I was sent. Just why are you here, then? For our alliance. I know these times are tough, but the Prince wants to make sure our agreement still stands. What agreement? What do you mean, what agreement? The union you were supposed to celebrate at the party. Be more specific. What were the particulars? With all due respect, Mr. Osborne, I'm a little too old for pop quizzes. We both know the broad terms of the Alliance. I wouldn't be here if that wasn't the case. Can we just get down to business? What attitude? Hmm, fine. You're right, we've wasted enough time already. Let the negotiations begin. What negotiations? Look around you. This room used to be teeming with devoted kindred. We lost three quarters of our people. Hartford has taken serious risks. In all regards, risks that are not on par with your prince's commitments. We demand compensation. I see. You seem to know the terms of the Alliance like the back of your hand. You're more than qualified to participate in these negotiations. With all due respect, I don't think... Enough small talk. What is your prince willing to give us to salvage this Alliance and right the wrongs that she's caused us? Sorry, Mr. Osborne, but I am not the prince's mouthpiece. The stakes are too high. I'm not a politician. The alliance between Hartford and Boston is riding on this conversation. I understand, but I'm out of my depth. I manage clubs, not cities. I understand your reluctance, M.M., but you have no choice. We need to make this decision now. I won't wait another night. Or else, our agreement is nullified. So what can you offer me? I could get you a place on the Primogen Council. No, no. Say no more. I appreciate your gesture, 
But I already have a seat on the Primogen Council. What? You heard me right. Iverson already promised me a place in the Primogen. It would appear that your prince has a rather generous hand in her distribution of seats. Finally, something we can agree on. What if the prince gave you a slice of her city? That would depend on the neighborhood. Hey ma'am, girl, where are you going with this? Whichever one you want. Downtown? Within reason. Hmm. All right. How about Charlestown? Why not? Very well. We have a deal. I'll contact our headquarters in Hartford to iron out the details. Fantastic. Hazel's gonna kill me. Well then, it looks like we have ourselves an agreement. Hartford will remain under Boston's umbrella. For now, Iverson will still have to answer for the party. What happened was unacceptable. I will not turn a blind eye. I understand. That being said, I applaud your demeanor. The situation wasn't exactly to your advantage. Thank you, sir. Very well. I'll contact your prince in the next few days. I think we're done here, unless there's anything else you wanted to talk to me about. I would like to ask you a few questions. If you have a minute, of course. Of course. You have any rivals in the blood business? Yes, there are a few. Malkavian Spawn in particular. They had the market cornered for a good amount of time, especially in Gwyndon King's day. Even though I don't approve of their methods, I must admit that they excel in their art. There are few capable of producing blood so pure. Seems like your business has been turning for quite some time. Am I right? Indeed, you're not mistaken. Warlocks have always had a special talent for getting the most out of blood. Call it our trademark. There's always been trafficking, but what your prince is proposing goes much further. Combining Dr. Dunham's expertise with the skills of the Tremere clan, the result would be... Enormous. Precisely. I bumped into a few people during my detention. Humans. Yes. Who are they? What are they doing here? They're the forgotten, the invisible. People who live on the streets. Junkies. Squatters. They wander in here by choice or ill fortune. Well, we do need blood. Like everyone else. You mentioned my memory fragments earlier. Yes. You led me to believe that the loss of them was... permanent? Not necessarily. Memory impairment is a side effect of the dimension. How permanent the condition is varies from one person to the next. That's the kind of thing I wish I'd known going into this. I can only imagine. But as I told you, you may not have anything to worry about. With any luck, it should all come back to you in time. At least if it comforts you, I truly hope so. Am I the only victim to suffer the effects of your magic? No. Far from it. Anyone who enters the prison is affected. Including you? Of course. But we have rituals to counteract its effects. I don't get it. Why do you target... Memories. 
You could have just built a bunch of high security cells. Believe me, all cells can be breached, even the strongest ones. But if you rob prisoners of their memories, they lose their very desire to escape. In theory. In theory. No, I'm good. Uh, very well. You'd best be running along back to your prince. I'm sure she's eager to hear your report. That she certainly is. Very well, Miss Lewis. Mr. Moses. Uh, would you please escort M.M. out? It would be a shame if she were to get lost again. As for the rest of you, it seems we need to start packing our things. Next stop, Charlestown. I'm gonna go wait for forensics. Okay. Let me know oh, when they get here. Oh, excuse me. Special Agent Smith. The FBI. Finally, some backup. Lieutenant's expecting you. Straight ahead. Watch out for the bloodstains. Forensics hasn't been through here yet. Got it. Lieutenant Anderson, I'm in charge of the investigation. Special Agent Smith, FBI. Really? Smith? Is that some kind of joke? No, why? I, let it go. Never mind. I'll give you the DL. We got a call from the caretaker around 2.15. He told us that one of his residents was brought in with an injury carried by his bodyguards. We sent a squad car that got here around 2.45. Is the caretaker still here? He's in the living room. But I don't think you'll be able to get anything useful out of him. Poor guy's in shock. Who was the first person on the scene? That would be Baker. He's somewhere around here. It shouldn't be hard to find him. Okay, then what? When they stepped inside, the guys came face to face with that. Do we know who the victim is? Yeah. He had his ID on him. It's the owner, a guy named Jason Moore. I don't know who this guy pissed off, but things didn't work out too well for him. Did you secure all the exits and entrances to the building? Yes, we've got men on the ground floor and in the parking garage. How do you get to the parking garage? You'll have to ask the caretaker. He's the one who took my men down there. Do we know if he had a family? Yeah, a wife and an eight-year-old daughter. The wife, Lydia Moore, 34 years old, architect, dual citizen of Costa Rica and the US, no criminal record. Yeah, we're trying to get a hold of her. The daughter, June, we've looked and she's not here either. What have you got on Moore? He was an asset manager. But if you ask me, he was involved in some shady stuff that we're sure to find out about. It's not every day that an accountant gets his head chopped off. Where are the bodyguards? We haven't found anyone yet. Go on. We're still looking for the head. We're waiting on forensics for everything else, but they're busy with another case. What case? You haven't heard? At one international place. They say it was a real bloodbath. So, you're here to take over the case? No, no. I'm working on something else. Moore's name popped up in one of our investigations. But I can't talk about it. Okay, 
I'll let my team know. He was decapitated. It was a pretty clean cut. Hmm. The flesh is burnt around the bullet hole, over a wide area. He was shot at point-blank range, no doubt about it. There's almost no blood left in him. The injury was post-mortem, and the body must have been lying down. Bullet wound in the right hip. A signet ring with a beaver on it. More went to MIT. Are you all right? Yeah, just a little faint. I was expecting it, but then... Uh, a minute, and I'll, I'll head back. The sight of blood. We've all been there, haven't we? No. <laughs> Mr. Adams? No. This can't be happening. What a nightmare. So much blood. I've got a few questions. I tried to help him. I told him we should call 911. I told him. Sir, listen to me. It's all right. Calm down. You're safe and you did the right thing. I did the right thing. I need you to answer a few questions for me. I, I... <sighs> yes, of course. W what do you want to know? Did you know Mr. Moore well? We weren't friends, if that's what you're asking. But we got to know each other. With time. <laughs> He was a creature of habit. Since he worked late, he would often ask me for things at night. A uh, newspaper, batteries, ice. I, I think he asked me for just about everything. I prided myself on always being able to get what he needed, no matter what time it was. You'd have thought he pretty much lived after dark. Like his clients. Did Mr. Moore have many visitors? For a man with his status, it was nothing surprising. But, well... Yes? His visitors mostly came in the middle of the night. I must admit, that's a little unusual. That's what working for us is like. He told me he had a lot of foreign clients, and he had to juggle different time zones. That's what working from home is like. He had colleagues over for late night meetings, too. But since little June was born, not as many people came around. That was wise. Did he have any enemies that you were aware of? No. He was a very respectable man. No bad company or anything. Except for us. Without any disrespect to the deceased, were you aware of any extramarital affairs he may have had? Mr. Moore was a good man. He would never have disrespected his wife or even contemplated it, I'm sure. She could have been okay with it. There were no young women coming and going. That's a very inappropriate question. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Do you know his wife? Mrs. Moore is a model resident. She always has something nice to say to the staff. And is the first to welcome new neighbors, too. A true lady. Do you think she could have been having an affair? She's a very respectable woman, who loves her husband very much. I don't know what sick kind of world you live in. And you would certainly not like to find out. They had their ups and downs, just like any couple. The staff had noticed that she went to Costa Rica fairly often without her husband. Was she thinking of leaving him? Not at all. Just the opposite. 
She begged him to spend more time with her and their daughter. Do you know where she is? Mr. Moore told me she'd gone to their home in Costa Rica. She goes there pretty often. <laughs> She's an architect, and she likes to work in her home country. She has family there. Do you think anyone could have been so angry with her that they could have taken it out on her husband? Oh, no. I don't think so. It's true that lots of people could have been jealous of her. But not to that point. I imagine the girl left with her mother? Not at all. It was the start of the school year, and Mrs. Moore left two weeks ago. I haven't seen her since Monday, when Mr. Moore took her to school on the first day. She must be staying with a friend. I... poor little thing. Thank heaven she wasn't here. Do you know his bodyguards? Yeah, there's uh, Jack, uh, James, and Wu. But you won't hear me singing their praises. Why not? Oh, they're good at strutting around and acting tough when everything is going well. But where were they tonight? Can you tell me that? That was their job, right? They were paid to... to protect him. What do you mean by acting tough? <laughs> More than once I overheard them talking to Mr. Moore, like they were his boss. The world upside down. They worked for us, just like your dear Mr. Moore. I hope they won't find another job anytime soon. Tell me about the evening again, please. What happened tonight? Mr. Moore left with his his three bodyguards uh, earlier in the evening. One of them got in the car, and Mr. Moore came down around midnight. And then? They came back around 2 a.m. Uh, Mr. Moore was limping. He, he was leaning on one of his bodyguards, and <sighs> he was bleeding. Was he injured? I told him I could call an ambulance or a doctor. But he didn't answer. I went closer to insist, but Wu told me they were in control of the situation, that it was no big deal. They went upstairs, and I saw drops of blood in front of the elevator. I told myself they were being unreasonable. What did those two goons know about it? So I called Mr. Moore on the internal line several times. Did he pick up? Not once. So I went upstairs and rang the doorbell, but nobody answered. So I went back down to the front desk and I called you. The lieutenant told me there was an access to the basement. Yes, using the service elevator th through the kitchen. You need a magnetic pass to, to use it. I gave the spare to your colleagues who wanted to go down there. I still have the original. Do you want it? Please. Thank you for your statement. You have to find out who did this, officer. Justice needs to be done for him. <laughs> and for his family. And we need to find out who's messing with us. That's what we're here for. You can count on us. Stick around in case we have more questions. Huh. You managed to calm him down? I thought that would be impossible. Yes, and he was able to answer a few questions. A real jungle in the heart of Boston. A truly peaceful oasis. Why were you looking for peace, Jason?
God, did I warn you? destroy all that we touch. My ship ended up at the bottom of the sea as well, like my other lives. Mom! Dad gave me a phone this morning for the first day of school. He surprised me, and I'm coming to see you tonight. Don't tell Abuelita, it'll be a surprise to her. And Dad's coming too. I can't wait to get there. XOXOXOXO. <sighs> Damn it, Lydia. I can't do it without you. If... If you could just see June. I can't tell anyone. I'm not gonna make it. I need... Sorry. I apologize for everything. I should have left. The three of us should have gone. Stayed at Pura Vida the way you wanted. I'm so sorry for what they did to you. I'll always love you, Lydia. Forgive me. Forgive me. Nobody told me there would be a retainer here. What are you playing at? Oh, I... I beg your pardon? Don't mess with me. Who are you? Calm down, Mr. Bazori. I meant no disrespect. I work for the Council. Why would the Council have sent her without warning me? Most of the time, they send me to clean up. Are you behind this? No. I got here after it happened. What's that file you've got? Oh, an account file. Have it. Here you go. Okay. Hmm. Let's see how much she knows. All right. What have you found? Oh, I'm a little embarrassed. I'm not really allowed to talk about my missions. I don't have time for this. Give me what you have. Uh, what I've got. Of course, sir. Here. That's everything. You made the right choice. Tell me exactly what they asked you to do. I got a message at 2.20 telling me to go to this address. I was supposed to pick up more and some financial documents. After that, I was supposed to wait for further instructions. Read the message you received. Target, Jason Moore. Address. 200 Clarendon Street, top floor. Exfiltrate target if possible. Otherwise, final elimination. Destroy Katapata's files. Complete mission for further instructions. If I had gotten to more before you did... I would have had to take him out. Well, you could have tried. Well... I hope I'm not going to have any trouble. But there's no point in having two of us here. You're going to go home now. Very well, Mr. Bazori. Officer Baker, can I help you? Were you the first person to arrive at the scene of the crime? Yes, sir. My partner and I were the first to get here. Just tell me about it. We got the call around 2.20. The caretaker had called because a resident was injured. It took us about 20 minutes to get here. The poor guy was in a panic. He told us he'd seen one of the tenants, Jason Moore, enter the building, and he looked hurt. He was being held up by his two bodyguards, and he was bleeding a lot. So I went upstairs with the caretaker. We saw blood in the elevator and on the landing. 
I rang the doorbell, but nobody answered, so the caretaker opened the door. I identified myself. There were traces of blood leading down the hall away from the entrance, and just after that, I uh, found the decapitated body. Did your partner come with you? No, he stayed in the foyer to secure the entrance to the building. Did you touch the body? No. There was nothing I could do to help him, so I uh, secured the scene. I put my gloves on to take his ID out of his jacket pocket so we could identify him. Then I called it in. Where was the caretaker during that time? I told him not to come inside, but he followed me. When he saw the corpse, he was really shaken. He wouldn't let go of me. Then what did you do? I called for backup. They told me that forensics would get here as soon as they could. They were out at another case. That was their top priority. After that? I secured the entrance to the apartment. Were you able to find the bodyguards? No. There was nobody here. But they must be somewhere. We're looking. After that, I searched the ground floor. There was nobody around. But from the looks of things, somebody searched the apartment. When Sergeant Lehane got here, she took care of upstairs. It's a good thing, too, because it took everyone else another 15 minutes to get here. She didn't find anyone there. So there's no sign of the family, then? Nothing. The place is empty. Any leads on what happened before that? When Moore got here, he was injured, right? We're on it. We're still piecing together a timeline. I wonder if this case is connected to the massacre downtown. But what I just don't understand is, where was he going? What do you mean? Well, in Moore's bedroom, there's a suitcase that's packed, and an outfit laid out on the bed. Like he was going to get dressed. And? But, he didn't get dressed. There were no clothes for his wife or daughter, either. If you ask me, he was going to leave alone. That's it? Oh, yeah. The guys in the parking lot said they saw one of Moore's cars leave after he came home. Hey, do you think the wife was in cahoots with one of the bodyguards to get rid of the husband? I'm listening. Well, a lot of times in cases like these, it's the spouse who did it. What if the wife was having an affair with one of the bodyguards? She packs up her and her daughter's stuff while her lover lures the husband into a trap somewhere. For some reason, things don't go according to plan. He comes home injured and figures out what's going on. He attacks his wife and the bodyguard kills him to protect her with whatever he happens to find. Makes sense, doesn't it? Not bad. Keep digging, Baker. Hey, mister. You can't go into the parking garage. It's a crime scene. Agent Smith, FBI. Oh, hi. Officer Norton. Hey, they didn't tell me you were coming down. Got something? Wyatt saw Moore leave at 225. Wyatt? The parking attendant, pot security guard, pot valet. Anyway, a car that belonged to the victim left in a hurry. Or at least he thought it was more, until he found out he got his head cut off. There's skid marks on the ground and uh, signs of a minor accident at the exit. He must have really been in a hurry. He? What? You said he must have been in a hurry. You're saying it was a man. Oh, no, no. It, it just slipped out without thinking. It could have been a woman. Do you think it was the murderer? We're not sure of anything at this point. I've got a few questions. Where's the witness? Wyatt, he's uh, in the security booth over there. He's super nice. I don't think you'll need to question him again. You mentioned skid marks. Yeah, they're very distinct. They start from his parking space and go all the way to the exit. They clean this place twice a day, so there's no doubt they're fresh. 
The driver peeled out of here in a hurry. And you said there was an accident near the exit. Yeah, minor one. Broken headlight, paint marks. He must have had a hard time handling it. Do we know what kind of car it was? Yeah, we called it in. It's the victim's sports car. Wyatt said there's only the sedan left. Did you find anything else? No, that's it. Since we're still waiting for forensics, we gotta be careful. But you know how it is, right? Let me know if you have uh, any other questions. Hello, Mr. Bazori. You must be mistaken. I'm Smith. Agent Smith. Yeah, sure. Do I know you? Everyone knows who you are. In the years you've been hunting us, You've acquired a hell of a reputation among our kind. I didn't know you would come. I'm not looking for any trouble. I, I... I didn't do anything wrong. I... Just who the hell are you? Me? I, I'm nobody. The name's Wyatt Alvarez. I was embraced five years ago. Mm. A thin blood. I spent years hunting them when Quentin King ruled Boston. Unfortunately for me... The blood of my sire was already weak, so I can still catch glimpses of the sun, but I don't have actual powers. Who created you? His name was Victor, but he died last year. Do the kindred know you exist? Yeah, yeah. I followed the rules, but the prince told me he never wanted to see me again, so I try not to make waves. I try to help out here and there. I'm hoping someone will notice one day, and I'll be allowed to become a true kindred. That's not very likely, if you ask me. I hope it works out for you. I'm doing what I can. Actually, if you could put a word in with the Prince, I'd be eternally grateful. I don't get involved in that kind of thing. Of course, obviously. But... Seeing as how I'm already working for your child, Mr. Underwood, I thought that maybe... You work for Beryl? Yes. I also work at a red salon, a couple of hours each day. What do you do there, exactly? Cleaning, mostly. What are you doing here, then? Uh, I thought it was a pretty cushy gig. It leaves me with a lot of spare time, even while I'm on the job. And it also means I can live at night. Are you involved in what happened up there? Not at all. I swear. I've got a sweet job here. I'd never risk it. So what happened? I've got no clue. My shift started at 10 p.m., as usual. The sixth floor tenant left around 11. At midnight, one of Mr. Moore's bodyguards came down to get the car. They were going to a party, apparently. I didn't see them come back. Then, around 2.20 or so, one of Mr. Moore's cars went flying out of here. It hit the wall near the exit. Did you recognize the car? Yeah, it was his sports car. The only one like it here. Did you see who was behind the wheel? No, it's got tinted windows. I thought it was Mr. Moore at first. But from what happened upstairs, <laughs> I doubt it now. Hey, were you the one who... You really think if it was me who did it, I'd be standing around here trying to figure out what happened? What can you tell me about Moore? I saw him a lot. He's the tenant I got to know best because of his working hours. And he was the most generous when it came to maintaining his cars, too. Anything in particular about Mrs. Moore? Yeah, I see her every once in a while. Sometimes I see her with a girl, coming back from vacation. Sure is good they weren't here tonight. What makes you say that? Well, Mrs. Moore's car. I haven't seen her in the garage for weeks, and she's the one who took the girl to school. Mr. Moore told me they were on vacation. 
And he was going to go join him soon. Did you see the bodyguards today? James came by earlier this evening to move Mr. Moore's car. But I haven't seen them since. Hey, what kind of cooks have you got in your trunk? Oh, I see you've found my little treats. I haven't got much there. There have been a lot of orders lately. I, I, I must still have some of that rust elixir left. How do you open the dumpsters in the garbage room? What dumpster? The dump... <laughs> Are you toying with me? No, but the cops already looked. There's nothing there. Open it. Mr. Missouri, I promise you won't find anything there. And I can't open it anyway. It's for staff only. Why do you want to go through the trash anyway? It's none of your business, damn it. What's your deal, Wyatt? There's no deal. I'd even be happy to help you. Listen, we're just gonna forget this conversation ever happened. And Excuse me. You didn't just try to corrupt my memories, did you? Oh, no. Uh, I I'm so sorry, Mr. Missouri. I shouldn't have. I know. <laughs> How can I make it up to you? You can start by not wasting my time. I hate that. Yes, but it's just that you've got to understand. I've got good reasons. What reasons? You're not going to like what I've been doing. I'm sure. Open it now. Just promise me you won't touch anything. Some of my stuff is in there. Please, don't touch it. I give you my word that I won't touch anything. That's the best I can do. Really? Don't make me say it again. All right, all right. Your reputation precedes you. I can take you at your word. All right, it's open. Wouldn't you rather tell me what you're hiding in there? Well, I, I cook a little. A guy's got to survive. I don't have to tell you that. I don't make a whole lot of money here. What do you cook? Oh, a little of everything. But I've got all my stuff in there. And there's some pretty rare ingredients. Rare? Yeah. And kind of illegal, too. Such as? In some recipes, well, I use vials of kindred's blood, for instance. Whose blood? Well, it depends on what I can find. Okay, but what have you got right now, exactly? If I tell you, can it... ...stay just between us? You're not fucking going to start again. Okay. Oh, okay, I... ...I managed to obtain some of Quentin King's blood. Where did you find King's blood? You can find anything on the black market, you know. So you're not sure it's actually his blood? Yes, it is. I had it tested. And when I used it in one of my formulas, the effects were off the charts. It took me a week to come down, and I still don't know if it was real. That guy was something else. One more thing, boss. Don't call me that. I hope we'll meet again, Mr. Missouri. Ugh, package. I wasn't expecting to see you here. Woo. Why, it's makeshift lab. And it's not math.
Who would want to take that? Empty soda cans. A shoe with worn out leather. I wonder what he's cooking with that garbage. Old chicken feet. Rusty cans. How can I help you, Agent Smith? So, what's it like to be a thin blood? You're curious, aren't you? Usually, you hunt us down without asking any questions. There are rules, Wyatt. Yeah, but I never asked to be this way. If you look at it that way, I'm innocent, if that means anything to you. Like I said, there are rules. If we don't follow them, there will be chaos. But it's unfair. <sighs> That's the Camarilla for you. You could have gone to the Anarchs if you didn't like our rules. Or we can change things from the inside. We're eternal. We don't know how to change. We were hunted under Quinton King. Look at us now. Things are already starting to change. I hope so, for your sake. So, what's it like to be a thin blood? It sucks. Yeah, I can still go outside during the day, but it's not all it's cracked up to be. The descendants just can't understand. Sure, it's nice. More than nice. I've been roaming the night since 1745. Do you have even the slightest idea what that does to you? How it changes you without even realizing it, without wanting to. It eats at you from the inside. But I'm still not complete. So if I had to choose, I'd rather live at night and be like you. Thin buds are the dregs of society. We're always wondering what's gonna happen to us. You, of all people, should know that. If we wanna be like you, even a little bit, we have to come up with potions that have a temporary effect. I found your cook shop. You didn't touch anything, I hope. I take what I want. Yeah, yeah. Of course. It's just that... It's taken me years to find some of those things. <laughs> so what? No, no, it's nothing. I hope you found what you were looking for. I went through your trash. So? Are you interested in one of my ingredients? That's not really what I've got a problem with. What? You didn't tell me about the man's head in a plastic bag. W what But what the hell? Is it more? No. That head belonged to one of his bodyguards. I... But... It wasn't me, Mr. Missouri. I swear. I don't know anything about it. You want me to believe that it's there by sheer accident? I swear, it's... You gave me the runaround so I wouldn't go through the trash. But no. And then I just happened to find a decapitated head. I know what it looks like, but I swear, I had no idea. But everything points to you. But it's not my trash. I don't know what people throw in there. So what you're telling me is that you had no idea there was a head in your trash. I swear, Mr. Bazori, if I didn't want you poking around in the trash, it was just because of my laugh. I didn't know what you'd think. I had no idea someone had thrown a human head in there. Okay, let's say I believe you. Happy to help. Agent Smith. FBI. Oh, hello. McLean. Can I help you? Just a few questions. Moore had several cars, right? Yeah, I think so. But you better talk to Wyatt about that. 
Your colleague mentioned an accident that happened tonight. Do you know anything about it? Oh, no. Not yet. Wyatt told us everything he knows. You questioned the caretaker when you arrived? We didn't have to. Wyatt told us everything we needed. He's a real team player. Do we have access to where the trash is kept? No. There's no garbage room that I could find. Well, you missed it, but... Just ask Wyatt about it. He'll know for sure. If you want to find out more, you should talk to... Uh... Wyatt. Oh, so you know him too. Mom, have you ever been here before? No. This place is a rental pumpkin. It was just for the party. Oh. Do you know what happened? No. That's what we are here to find out. But we have to be very careful. Do you remember our rules for when we go out? Yes. I become invisible and don't touch anything. That's a big girl attitude. You can walk around as long as you don't stray too far. And if there's any sign of trouble, I wait for you outside? That's it. We make a great team, Sweet Fangs. The police are here. Shit. That's a bad sign. Remember what we said. No wandering off. Yes, Mom. I'm a big girl. Okay, then. Where are you, Richard? Yeah. Stop! You can't come through here! Hi, uh, I live in the building, and I was told to come give a statement. You need to go down to the precinct to give your statement, ma'am. Only law enforcement is allowed here. Oh, I hadn't understood that. Thank you. Have a pleasant evening. There's no way I'm gonna get access if I'm not one of them. <laughs> Great. Now I just need to find a secluded spot. We'll put all the stabbing victims in crates and send them out to the belt. Traffic control is looking pretty good right now. Uh, I just got here. Can you fill me in? I've never seen anything like it. It's a real bloodbath in there. Do we know what happened? Captain Paulson thinks it looks like some kind of goddamn cult. But I've heard the feds talking about terrorists. The feds are here already? They showed up the minute we got here. We didn't even get a chance to see everything. How'd they get here so fast? They know who did it, obviously. Do you really think it's terrorists? It's weird, but hey, it could be. There are guys who have burned to a crisp, dismembered, beaten to a pulp. With those guys, you can expect anything these days. What do we know about all these bodies? Those are the ones we can take down already. The ones that were stabbed in the chest need to be put in crates and moved to the balcony. The feds will process them. We are not allowed to touch them. Stabbed how? Looks like some kind of sacrifice. They all got stabbed in the heart, it looks like. But if you want to make yourself useful, go see Paulson. Where is he? You just missed him. He just went into the living room. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna take a look around. Oh, There's so much blood. I sense... I sense you're losing control. I sense you're losing control. It's all this blood. I need to focus. Mom, are you... Are you feeling all right? Yes. Don't worry about me, Pumpkin. Mom, we... Please? Sick. All this blood... It feels so strong. Oh, crap. She feels as bad as I do. I want to leave, Mom. I'm scared. either sugar fangs but your mother has a job to do you understand if you're scared too then why don't we just leave because 
Hazel asked me to do this. I like Hazel. She lets me come with you. But there are too many people here. And they're all torn and broken. We have no choice. Can't you feel all that blood everywhere? Are we going to be hungry like this the whole time? We'll figure something out. Say, I was thinking. We haven't played a game together in ages. I know. I miss our games. Why don't you think up a riddle for Mom to solve? I... Okay. Hunger like that? Not now. Not here. Somebody spilled wine here. Richard, he sensed me. He's here, but something's wrong. All right, guys, listen up. The feds are taking over the investigation. So don't touch a thing. Put all the stiffs with stakes through their hearts out on the balcony. They'll take care of them. All right, go. You know what you have to do. Shit. Uh, I have to find Richard and fast. Hey, uh, Central Dispatch sent me over to help. Captain Paulson. But you can call me Chief. Sure thing, Chief. Right. You heard the orders? I... Everything we find at the scene needs to be shown to the feds. Got it, Chief. And the balcony is off limits. But you don't seem too thrilled about that? Am I wrong? Is it so obvious, officer? It's the first time in my entire career, and 30 years is a long time, that I feel like we're babysitting a crime scene. Babysitting? We've been ordered to secure the premises, lend our experts, and not ask any questions. But why can't we go outside? The feds got here first. It's their rodeo. They secured that area to store whatever they decide to collect. To get here that fast, they must have known. What they'd find. Exactly. Good point, officer. Usually, they show up after us if it's a new case, right? Because we're the ones who call them. But that wasn't the case this time. Not at all. They even seemed annoyed to see us show up. But then they must have thought, it's nice to have help processing the scene and collecting evidence. Oh, all right. So, uh, what do we know so far? Lots of Vicks. It has all the makings of a drug deal gone bad. He's not buying it. But you have your doubts? I do. There's too many things that don't add up. Like what, Chief? Bodies in accelerated decomposition. Even some skeletal remains. Shit. Kindred were destroyed. My hunch is that the Feds are investigating a cult. But it's none of our business. Thanks for walking me through it, Chief. You report it to them if you find anything suspicious, okay? I don't need their kind of trouble. Richard, what's going on? I can sense your hunger. What's going on? Shit! It's starting again. Mom, are you okay? Do you feel weird, too? We've already had that talk, Halsey, my love. Don't. Don't look at it. So, have you come up with another riddle for me? Yes! I've got one! I'm listening. It's not too hard, is it? No, no. Riddle me this. I fear the sun more than anything, and the mortals have been fighting me since forever. If they catch me, they keep me in a box. Who am I? found that one and gave you the right answer that's not how you play riddle me this you have to figure it out by yourself too bad 
because it was an easy one. It's the cold. Oh, of course. Silly me. It's the cold. It's kept in the fridge, and the vessels don't like it. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, don't you think? Oh, wow. You were so right. I was way off. Halsey schoolers, one more point. And zero for mom. But I haven't said my last word. I'm not giving up. Are you feeling funny too? Are you... hungry? I'm almost done, okay? Let's just keep playing. Ugh, the hunger. It's too strong. Damn it! What do we have here? Tons of evidence. Do you know if the team from Forensics LPU has shown up yet? No, I don't. I need them to process the briefcase I found. And the invoice that was with it. An invoice? Yeah. There's some glass tubes. Addressed to some warehouse over on Cellar Street. Shit. There's a red salon in that district. We've got to hand it all over to the feds. I can do it. I already gave them the address. They'll probably send a team to investigate when they're done here. I've got to warn Hazel. Come on! Our hands on deck. What's happening? What's happening to you? Mom. Yes? Come on, please. We're done with the photos. Now we need to collect samples. Sorry, I'm on a tight schedule. Sorry, I've got myself knee-deep in something I have to finish first. Where are you taking me, Pumpkin? I told you I'd be a big girl, but it's really hard. I really don't feel good. Not even a tiny bit. It's all this blood. Me either, Pumpkin. It's not easy. <sighs> Let's take a little time out then. Weren't you supposed to be coming up with a riddle for me? Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm ready. I'm listening. Okay, but it's the last one, all right? Cross my heart, Pumpkin. So, riddle me this. If the child of Hazel Iverson is a sire of my child, who am I to Hazel Iverson? Hmm. Could you repeat that, please? If the child of Hazel Iverson is the sire of my child, who am I to Hazel Iverson? If you embrace Hazel Iverson's child, you'd create a blood bond with that kindred and- But mom, you know you can't embrace a kindred. If you could, then you'd have lots of sires. <laughs> That's right. Your riddles are tough, Pumpkin. Now tell me already. Easy peasy. The sire of my child can only be me. Of course. I get it now. And so, if Hazel Iverson is my sire, then I am her child. I would have never figured it out. I'm all out of ideas, Mom. There's too much blood everywhere. Yes, I, I know. And also, I mean, Mom, I don't want to see Richard. You can stay outside if you want. I'll hurry up. I guess. We've got to hang in there. I don't want to disappoint Hazel. Hey there. Perfect timing. You the explosives expert I called in for? Good luck with that. 
I have no clue as to what went down here, but bullets were on the menu. Shots fired in all directions. And it looks like your basic 9mm is no longer in style. See for yourself. Some of the impacts left holes as big as my fist. Let me brief you on the zone we're clearing now. We've got a stiff in the room on the right. Looks like he died from blunt force trauma. Anyway, we've got orders to pack them up as is for the feds. Don't bother with the report. They're taking care of everything. In the room on the left, there's a corpse we need to analyze. But I'm warning you, it's a real mess. The people who did this are crazy. It's all priority, just check the boxes. did a number on you. They're here. They found us. Before I knew it hit me. I had a stake in my heart. I've never seen anything like it. These mortals aren't afraid of us. Shh, gentle. You shouldn't be here. You should be at the Institute. Calm down. What happened here? The mortals who are here? It's the Second Inquisition. What makes you say that? Are you sure? Yes, there's even a man of the cloth in charge of them. Monsignor Stanford. They mowed us down like so many blades of grass. All of us. So, they found us. We have to go on the others. Wait. There might still be kindred here. We can't leave them behind. This is insane. It's irresponsible. The prince asked me to find Miley. But I need your help. Miley? Well, now I understand. The prince had you released against my orders, and she sent you here. And you'd rather obey her? She's using you. There's no way I'll help. Ask her for help since you're here for her. The prince sent me to find out what happened. It was an order. And you don't refuse the prince's orders, you know? Yes. All too well. Seeing what happened to you, it's a good thing I'm here. I don't see her interest in you as a good thing. It's obvious that Hazel is manipulating you. She cares about me. I don't see why it's an issue. Does she care about you? Or about your premonitions? That argument doesn't hold water. Hazel's not the first person to take an interest in our gifts. Princes have always sought glimpses of tomorrow to better rule their domains. Take Quentin King, for example. Yes, I know. She wants to separate you from me, I'm sure of it. What has she been telling you about me? Since we're on the subject of my treatment, she thinks it's working, and that the results are clearly visible. She does? How surprising. And that I'm the person in the best position to see that. Really? Is that her diagnosis? You do know that she's many things, 
but not a psychiatrist. Right, it's a good thing I keep my emergency kit at the Prince's apartments. Why? I'll give you a dose once we're back there. That should be enough to get you back to the Institute. All is well. I'm doing better. I promise. I sincerely hope you're telling the truth. I only want what's good for you, you know. I know. Well, it is already something if you're feeling better. Hazel should have respected my instructions. What do you mean? She should have followed the treatment I prescribed for you, that's all. This issue is not over. I will have words with her. Let's get out of here. You go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Alicia, that's not what I... You want me to trust you, but you don't trust me. It's not that. I'm... I'm just worried about you. Get going. The clock is ticking. You can, at the very least, let me help you. Here, with this, you should be able to temporarily impersonate anyone. I'll find Miley and catch up to you, okay? She was with me when they attacked us. She was? Yes, she was injured, but she managed to escape down the hallway. I heard them capture her. I can still sense her. She's hurt, but she's still here. Thank you. Come on, we don't have a minute to spare. Oh, and tell them they have the address of the Red Salon on Cellar Street. We should expect a second attack there. I must inform the court. Be careful. I'll be counting the minutes until you return to us. I'm just getting started. Well, actually, it has been an hour already. There's just so much evidence to collect. It's not like this is my first crime scene, you know? But none of this adds up. It's the kind of case you take home with you. Go figure. What's with all these bodies in various states of decay? This shit is gonna give me nightmares you can't wake up from. And the feds are telling us not to ask any questions. Never met a talkative fed. And they grabbed them poker faces at Quantico. But I can tell you one thing, they got here fast, quicker than the blowflies. They took one look at the carnage and acted like it was just another day at the office. Examine the spatter trajectories. Get us enough data to calculate spray velocity. We'll need it. I'll keep collecting samples of blood and body fluids. We're gonna run short on materials here with all the need swabbing and bagging. I can barely detect a pulse. It'd take a strong stimulant to pull this mortal out of this state. They took him for dead. He's barely breathing. That's a knife wound. Huh. <laughs> Bringing a knife to a gunfight? This one's missing fingers. Go right ahead. Here we go. I wonder what's hiding here. Which one do you want to take down? Sorry, I've got one more thing to do. No problem. Stanford was right. We brought down some high-value targets. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Your clock is ticking down. Don't touch those papers. Shit. There are names on these files. I'd better get him out of here so I can take a look. 
Don't bother with that. Those are Stanford's files. He brings paperwork on a job like this? Yes. So his novice can record whether they were captured or exterminated. Oh, if they have intel on us, I have to find out what they know. His novice is busy, and... Uh... Agent Olsen's got a lot to do. But he's handling it himself. I needed to see him anyway. I'll just take them to him. Don't bother. He'll pick them up on the way to see Stanford. Go put away what's on the table. I... Okay. Finally. Now I can take a look at those files. So, has forensics processed the bedrooms? I've got no idea. There are lots of... You don't know? Isn't there anyone here that can inform me about anything? I've been asking for an hour. I must give Monsignor an update detailing how long this is going to take. Let's not keep him waiting, then. But the local police are very... Just tell them Agent Olsen sent you. And we will see how high they are willing to jump. We still have bodies to evacuate and samples to recover. You bet. You can count on me. Stop. You can't go in there. Monsignor's standing orders. No interruptions. So Stanford is back there. But I just wanted to... It's too dangerous, and you know it. If you've got something to give him, tell Olsen is novice. Well, suit yourself, but remember I warned you. If I decide to go in there, I'd better be Olsen. Agent Olsen? Yes. And I'm guessing Monsignor Stanford's not the type you want to piss off, right? Indeed. But it is that same unwavering attitude that will one day save us all. These monsters are a corruption, and only the incorruptible can defeat them. Speak for yourself, monster. I guess. He doesn't enjoy it. But it is his calling to purify the world. And to think they say I'm special. I was just thinking that it might be faster if I just went to tell Monsignor myself. That's out of the question. He abhors being interrupted by anyone except myself. But I... I'll do it. I'm the only novice here. Novice? So they have ranks. It's for your own safety. Trust me. We know so very much and still so very little about those we hunt. You know that I'm a novice. Like yourself. Yes. Yes, that's right. You think that Monsignor would let me help him? Absolutely if... not. It's clear that I'm the only person he trusts here. Hmm. He's touchy, apparently. All right, I'll let you get back to work. Perfect. Thanks, Olsen. That's not all, but I need to wrap this up. Mom! Halsey, mommy knows what she's doing. Go away from me at the elevator. I'll be right there.
I'll continue back at headquarters, where I have more appropriate tools. You found some? Speaking of headquarters, any news? Nothing, Monsignor. Too bad. I was hoping to hear from our informant. An informant? No. No, I... Now we have proof that their intel is reliable. Without the informant, we never would have found them so quickly. And utterly exposed. So we were betrayed. These monsters are as fickle and deceitful as the devil himself. Do you know who... Seeing them turn on each other, it's in their nature. But the one who betrayed them... None the of them inf will ever surprise me, as you would have been wise to consider before approaching me. Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> In Saint Leopold's name, we will find you all to the very last. And like always, you've completed your mission. Like always? Those words don't come from me. You must know what they say about you here. No, I don't know. Enlighten me. Well, you have kind of a reputation. It's actually rather flattering. What exactly do they say? Oh, you want to know? I didn't think... Simple curiosity, nothing more. Everybody kept saying that Galeb Bazori has been in tough spots before, and that you come through them unscathed. They were right. Don't listen to gossip. Forge your own opinions. Don't worry about it. It's not a natural thing here. It takes some experience. Mens et manus. Mind and hand. That's the MIT motto. One of my teachers used to say that the only way to really learn something is by doing it. You have a lot in common with him. I'm unsure of how I'm supposed to interpret that. It's a compliment. You didn't tell me what was in those files you gave the prince. I don't see how that's any of your business. To make up your own mind about something, the best way is to go to the source. And apparently, Jason Moore is well informed. I see. You'll have to be patient, Fang. Do you... Do you think your success on the mission could play to our advantage? I mean, for... The Prince will decide your fate when the time comes. Being useful to her can't hurt. How do you feel about it? Honestly? I just want to get it over with. Like when you're going into finals? Even if there's no going back? It's a little late for that, isn't it? It is. Your child, Earl Underwood, did he have any second thoughts? I don't want to discuss it. He's your only child, so I wondered how it went. Well, could you enlighten me? Beryl is very different from you. He always has been. I was blind. It won't happen again. Beryl would have begged me to get what he wanted. Your patience reassures me. I'm making the right choice with you. You seem to really have a problem with him. Yes, and that's why you must stay away from him. This separation between you, what caused it? Don't dig too far into it. You know this is something I don't discuss. That's too bad. You've already mentioned Beryl, and I told you not to do it again. Your interest in him is growing. And knowing him, he'll try to take advantage of that. Unless, he already has. Excuse me? Did you speak to Beryl? Don't lie to me. Yes. Damn it. He asked me to stop by and see him. 
I'm going to have a word with him. No. Silence. Wait here. Any news here? Everyone is stressed out. I've never seen anything like it. They're all talking in hushed voices. They barely dare to look at each other. People and their moods. I'm not interested in that. I saw them take one of Jason Moore's bodyguards below. To question him, I imagine. That could be of interest to you. Say, how are things with the girl? Excuse me? It's Zhu Feng, right? She's not a girl. Things going okay? The interest certain people have taken in her has given me cause for concern. Maybe that's something you should talk about with the person in question. Do you think you'll embrace her soon? As soon as possible, once the prince gives me permission. You met Fang at MIT, didn't you? Yes, I went to see her. How did that go? I told her I was the CEO of a company that wanted to take sustainability seriously. Smart. She didn't reject the idea. She took it as a challenge. I liked that about her. She did everything she could to bring about a real change in me. She would be an incredible asset for the kindred. I've never embraced anyone. How come? The story of my life and my unlife. I have no progeny, mortal or otherwise. By choice? Yes and no. When things weren't so strict, I could have asked, but I didn't have anyone in mind. Not like you and Fang. Now it's too late, as I've clearly been made to understand. Maybe you'll get another chance. Oh, you mean that after the SI is done with us, our overpopulation problem will be solved? I didn't mean it like that. But still, be that as it may, I hope the Prince will allow you to do it. I don't know. I hope last night isn't weighing on you too heavily. I'm all right. The prince won't base her decision on just that. You've already proven your worth, Mr. Bazori. We'll see about that. I'd better be going. See you. Oh, there you are. Follow me, please. We'll speak in private. You wanted to see me? Happy to see you, Galeb. We don't usually let anybody down here, but I can bend the rules for you. To what do I owe this honor? I need you. Some things come up. On the night of the attack, someone sent a message to an unauthorized recipient. Do you know who it was? Not now, but I will soon enough. Otherwise, the prince will have my head. Caleb, I need your help. I get the feeling that it's all connected. It's too huge to be a coincidence. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Jara Drory. It's easy to accuse someone who's not here to defend herself. Yes, and I might have it all wrong. But I wouldn't accuse her unless I had serious doubts. Think it through carefully. For starters, she's one of the few who knows how the system works. She'd be able to cover her tracks, wouldn't she? Maybe. But maybe she made a mistake. I don't know. Jara has most likely been destroyed by now. Do you have any evidence supporting what you're suggesting? Anyways, nothing concrete. Just a hunch, if you want to call it that. In my place, under the current circumstances, I can't really go poking my nose in her business. And I can. Nobody will bother you. I'm not asking for much. Just take a look in Jara's room to see if you can find anything that ties her to any of this. And if you could do it quickly. Why? Because I'm about to erase a ton of data. It's the Code Red protocol. And since Jara vanished, the Prince wants her personal data to disappear along with her. That doesn't give us much time. You in? I could maybe go and take a look around. Great. I 
found a key to her room. Take it. Thanks. It's our last chance to recover the data from Jara Drury's computer before everything disappears for good. Just insert this thumb drive and it will download everything I need. If she betrayed us, I'll know. Fine. I'll go see what I can find. Thanks. One last thing. Uh-huh. If you could keep this just between you and me. Fine. And don't come back to see me here. It's supposed to be sealed. It'll look suspicious. I'll send in an engineer after you. Give him the drive when you're done, but don't tell him anything. We have to keep this between us. As you wish. Caleb, our secret agent is back already. The soldier is on furlough. Not for long, I'm afraid. The prince will undoubtedly have some new task for me. At least she trusts you. She hardly speaks to her primogen. Even Beryl is in the dark. He's not used to that. It'll be good for him. Are you still not talking? You could say that. Any regrets? I don't see why I would have any regrets. That's no surprise. Personally, I find that giving a child so much power is dangerous. The problem is that you have to watch them all the time. Otherwise, they end up making a mess of things. But trying to influence them is pointless. You must be subtle about it. That's all. I give a mem just enough freedom so that she doesn't completely hate me. But I know exactly how to make her do whatever I want. Do you really think you'll have time to embrace Fang? What do you mean? Well, with all the elders gone, who knows who'll be next? That's not something I'm willing to discuss with you. Suit yourself. No, excuse me, I have to go. Of course. I've seen princes come and go. In the end, it always comes down to a struggle for power between the prince and their primogen. Hazel is strong, but will she last much longer? There's no point in insisting. The prince didn't ask you for your opinion. Hazel can't just ignore me and then call me in like this. Now get out of here before I make your blood boil. Mr. Siaka, you're taking a big risk. Goodbye. Sorry, I don't really have time for this. Now she's sending you. Run into some trouble with the prince? That's a question to ask Hazel. She's the one who doesn't know what she wants. You seem unusually tense. Are you sure she's the problem? Obviously, the whole situation is a nightmare. But Hazel's not helping. She's obviously overwhelmed, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. I don't know how you still put up with her. You owe your place in the primogen to her. What, you think I don't know that? I've always done my best to keep her from screwing things up. But when she reached out to Hartford? Is there a problem with Hartford? I told Hazel we can't trust them. Do you have any evidence to support what you're suggesting? She doesn't know Deneb the way I do. She wouldn't listen to my warnings. Her plan was bold. Risky is a better adjective. After what happened last night, I'm not sure you realize just how deep the shit we are in goes. And I suppose you have the solution? Maybe. Not that I'm happy about it. There's interesting stuff going on in other places. Boston's not the center of the universe. We don't know who can be trusted. This is no time to leave. If the prince has kept you in the dark, she must have had a good reason for it. Just look at what happened. Open your eyes, Caleb! The Boston Camarilla is crumbling before our eyes! What are the odds we survive? They're not good, I'll grant you that. 
it might be too late for Boston. You know what it's like to feel called to be elsewhere. That has nothing to do with this. Salem isn't elsewhere. You won't be any safer there. It's just a starting point. We thaumaturgs will find a way to deal with it. I see that you've planned for everything. I've already lost too much time. You shouldn't waste your time either. If you leave, Hazel will catch up with you. What do you mean? You know, she doesn't like people who have been disloyal, especially now. Hazel doesn't need new enemies. She should be wary. Be careful. Goodbye, Caleb. Jar has always been wary of new technology. Caius will be able to use what's on this thumb drive. Hello, Mr. Vizori. Mr. Lido asked me to wait until you were done. He also told me you'd have something for me. Here it is. Give it to him, and him alone. And don't ask any questions. I get it. Are you done here? You may proceed. Thanks. The prince is ready to see you now. Great. Galeb. My prince. We were expecting you. How may I be of service to you this time? One thing at a time. The situation has changed. The money is gone. The accounts have been emptied. What? That's impossible. Only Jason Moore could have transferred the money. The situation is dire. Moore would never have done it on his own. He would never have dared. I agree. It's much too bold a move for him. And that's what concerns me the most. Someone used him to attack us. Someone who was extremely well prepared. It might be one of our own. That's what I think. It's the most plausible explanation. If there's a traitor among us, I'll have their head. One thing at a time. I'll take care of the traitor, personally. Failure is a luxury we will soon be unable to afford. If you have nothing more to say, we can move on to the reason I sent for you. What did you think about Richard Dunham's file? Money that should be going to me seems to go missing whenever he touches it. Richard is far too important to me. I can't afford to upset him now. But if his research doesn't pay off soon... I won't hesitate to show him my disappointment. Did you read Jara Drory's file? I wish I'd never seen it. There's too much I despise in it. She never mentioned she was monitoring the Primogen's finances. Or this, Catapotis. What on earth is it? I've got no idea. It doesn't add up. It seemed important to her. But she's not here to shed any light on it. I'm listening. I've asked for your presence here because I have a new mission for you. Delson was able to track down the men who attacked us. It wasn't easy. But it was impossible for them to disappear without leaving a trace after what they did yesterday. Where are they hiding? Long Island. Yes, of course. An abandoned facility just off the coast. An old fort. It's the ideal place for a secret base. 
and certainly much more. Who knows what they're up to out there? <sighs> How is it you didn't notice a thing? They have abundant resources, and we're short on eyes. It doesn't matter. We'll find the people responsible for the situation later. Our most pressing issue is preventing them from striking us again. How? You're going to go there and kill their leader. As I've said before, you can count on me. Good. That's what I was hoping you'd say. When the time comes, I won't forget to reward those who've been loyal to me. I won't let you down. What's the plan? They evacuated the bodies from the site of the party, which is how we were able to pick up their trail. There's a small, nondescript warehouse at Jeffrey's Point. As far as we can tell, their transfers from Boston to Long Island are made by boat. To avoid drawing attention to themselves, they've chosen to employ only small craft. There are bodies packed in the warehouse waiting to be shipped over. Do you get the picture? You want me to disguise myself as a body to be evacuated? Exactly. All you have to do is stop simulating your vital functions for a few hours. It's risky. It's risky, but it's now or never. We might never get another opportunity. We have to try. The last transfer is probably going to take place tonight. After that, there's no way of knowing when we'll get another chance. I need to know the details. Let us worry about getting you into the warehouse. We've made all the preparations. You won't have to worry about a thing until you get to Long Island. We know where they are. Why go through their warehouse? Charging into Long Island blind would be far too risky. And with a traitor in our midst, I'd rather keep this to a small circle of trusted people, to avoid any other unpleasant surprises. And after that? Once you're on the island, you'll be in uncharted territory. You'll be on your own. Who is my target? Walter Stanford. He's the head of the Boston Task Force. He's part of what they call the Society of Leopold. Someone else will take his place. No need for you to worry about that for the time being. Your mission is to eliminate Stanford, and that's all. What do we know about this Stanford? Not much. They're very careful. He was sent from the Vatican, and he brought other fanatics with him. If he's here, it means that Rome has faith in him. And that can't be good for us. He's got to be taken out. What's the Vatican getting out of all this? Your guess is as good as mine. But it seems that the kind are trying to get a better understanding of us in order to hunt us more effectively. These priests have been our enemies for ages. They have knowledge. Putting an end to them is crucial. We must keep our enemies from unifying their strength. I don't wish to be the bearer of ill tidings, but what if I fail? Do you have a backup plan? Galeb, you won't fail. You're our only hope. We place all our trust in you to complete this essential mission. There's no room for error, Vizori. Aren't you worried someone will tip off the SI? There's still a traitor among us. The traitors, my department. You need to strike quickly. And don't let anyone know of your plans. We can't take the slightest risk. All right. I've heard enough. Very well. Then you should get going. We've already lost enough time. Very well, my prince. I'm guessing you tipped Bazori off to the traitor? Yes. Any news? Nothing since Richard's report. My city is in danger. Everything I've built, all the dreams I've invested, that Judas is a threat to everything. Not for long. 
You'll bounce back. Yes. Congratulations on your negotiations with the Chantry. Our agreement with Hartford is crucial. Your wish is my command. I always knew I could count on you. You're a true ally, a loyal one, a future asset in my primogen. But one thing at a time. Before we get there, I have another favor to ask of you. What a surprise. About what I told you earlier concerning Delson and Long Island. I've got a plan. Oh, I know that look. Hazel. This is the best moment to strike. That sounds like the definition of rushing into things. Yes, but we have no choice. Delson? We need to blind them from the inside. They know too much about it. We have to change that. For that, we need someone to hit them with a surprise attack from within their compound. I wish that person luck. It's you. That's way out of my league. Hazel's not asking for your opinion. You proved you were reliable with Hartford. We need your skill sets for such a risky and vital task. That's precisely what's got me on edge. It's your chance to prove to the court once and for all that you deserve a place on the council, M.M. After this, you'll be untouchable. I sure hope so. All right? How do I get on this island? By boat? I doubt it. Coastline's under surveillance. So I swim across. All right? What then? Kai has wrote a program that can help us. If you can upload it into their system, it'll corrupt all the data they've got in their database. Their systems, the archives, it'll all be lost. Allowing us to cover our tracks. It's our best shot at making it through this. You'll just have to insert it into a computer that's on their network. That's absolutely essential. Any questions? Your plan sounds pretty old school. There's no way to do that remotely? We've tried, but Leto's agents weren't able to breach their security. Their network's too highly protected. That's why we need you. I see. Am I allowed to take a partner? I'd feel a lot better about this if I had someone covering my back. I understand, but that's not possible. We're already taking a risk by sending a person in to infiltrate their hideout. Got it. So, let me get this straight. You want me to infiltrate the enemy base alone? The same enemies who just slaughtered half the camp. Quit whining. You can have help. Oh, really? Your task will not be easy. You'll need a diversion while you sabotage their system. A raid near their base, for example. That could work. Who will you send? I refuse to sacrifice any more of our people. So we might as well send in the riffraff. The Anarchs could do the job. Come again? You heard me. I want you to go see them and convince them to go with you to Long Island. You're trying to thin their herd. I'm balancing the scales, that's all. They can't stand us. They'll never agree to fight for us. Let alone on their own without us. They don't have to know they'll be alone. Lead them to believe our forces will join up with them. The SI is a threat to the entire city. They're just as concerned as we are. Send someone else to negotiate. A real emissary. No one else knows the Anarchs as well as you do. They go to your clubs, don't they? They know who you are. They know they can trust you. I barely know them. I see a couple of them once in a while, but that's it. We're not exactly friends. You're still in the best position to negotiate with them. Yeah. I'm not comfortable with the idea of sending them to be slaughtered. It's... despicable. It's just politics. And it's probably your only chance to come back in one piece. What if I refuse? I won't let you. Your conscience is of no concern to me. The only thing that matters is our survival. And too bad if it keeps you up at night. The true face of the Camarilla. Right then, let's say 
I agree. You don't have a choice, but I'll humor you. How am I supposed to go about it? I can't just go chasing down every Anarch I know to ask for their help. There's only one Anarch that counts. They're Baron. Randall Thane? That's right. He's in charge of the various Anarch gangs in the region. I don't know where he is right now. You'll need to use your network. Hmm. I've got an idea of who I can ask. What can I use as leverage if they try to negotiate? Money. Favors. Offer them whatever seems useful. All right. One more thing. Don't tell anyone about your task. Not even your sire. I don't want the Council poking their noses into this. That will be all. I'm counting on you, M.M. Be careful, and good luck. I'm gonna need it. Come back later. M.M., there you are. I'm sorry I wasn't here to meet you when you got back. I was busy. No worries. I heard your little adventure with our guests was quite the success. Congratulations. Thanks. I was just about to go grab a bite. Join me? Is that a question or an order? Let's say it's a strong recommendation. One you can't really refuse. Hmm. That's what it sounded like. Please, lead the way. Very well. Is there something in particular you wanted to talk to me about? Can't I simply offer you a drink without you reading something into it? No. <sighs> All right, fine. Your new mission has been giving me pause to think. I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Hazel made that exceedingly clear. If she thinks things are better like that, I believe her. For God's sake, Amem, I'm your sire. You should trust me, not that snake in the grass. Personally, I've never had anything bad to say about Hazel. Unlike me, is that it? <laughs> You'd be singing a different tune if you knew what I know. If I knew what? Nothing. You wouldn't believe me anyways. Fine. I'll just make your life miserable until you spill the beans. Seriously? You know how stubborn I can be when I want something. Hazel's a smart woman. She knows what she needs to do to get what she wants. And she wants you. That's going too far. You think it's an honor, but you should really be worried. Hazel never does anything she's not sure she'll benefit from, which means she's got ways to make you bend to her will. She's careful to hide her secrets from you, safe behind her herald. Tonight could be your last chance to discover them. Very well, let's move on. You sure seem ticked at the prince. We've got different political views, that's all. It's rather healthy, actually. There's nothing worse than a council that's enthralled to its prince. That I can believe. But it seemed like there was something else. What? I'm worried about you, that's all. I've seen Hazel spin her web around other kindred. I'm worried she's doing the same thing with you. Playing the cynic, I'd say you were just jealous. I don't want her throne, Amem. I'm just fine where I am. But since you don't believe me, go take a look around. I'm sure you'll find the answers to your questions. Just a bit of friendly advice. The reports from Richard and Laisha are truly frightening. I never thought I'd see a day like this. Predators never see themselves as prey. We're going to have to be extremely cautious if we want to survive. Do you have any plans? No, I'm waiting for Hazel's orders. We're dependent on her now more than ever. I can't imagine you waiting for the prince to do something. But here I am, doing just that. No, you've always got a plan B. You're not telling me everything. I... fine. You win. 
I can't talk about it here, but yes, I've got our backs covered. Our backs? You're my blood, Mem. But enough about that. Hazel seems to have a few cards up her sleeve. Let's put our faith in that for now. I wanted to ask you about something a little weird, if you've got a couple minutes. I'm all ears. Is something wrong? When I went to see the Tremere, I fell into a kind of memory trap. What? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Long story short, I lost some memories. Well, memory fragments. I think I recovered some of them, but I'm not sure. I saw our breakup again. Oh, wonderful. It was like I was reliving the whole thing, but from the outside looking in. Did you see anything else? I saw the night I was attacked. The blood bond. I heard their voices again. Their laughter. Ma'am. How could you ask me to stay quiet about it? I was in so much pain. I never asked you to stay quiet. I only told you to be careful. Not to rush into things. Head first, I know. Ugh. Tell me. Did I listen to you in the end? You don't remember what happened after? No. My memory is all blank after our breakup. Osborne told me it was normal. It's one of the side effects of their plastic trap. Can you tell me more about it? It's a long story, Mem, and it's not really a happy one. That's all the more reason. I want to know what happened. It's my memory, it's not some game. Exactly. I don't want to see you suffer again. I won't allow it. But it's not your choice. It's not you we're talking about. It's me. I can't just sit here not knowing. I won't tell you a thing. Hilda, please. I said no. There's no point in insisting. Fine. Whatever you want. I saw my embrace. Oh, really? Yeah, it was weird. We were so happy back then. I was, at least. So was I. <sighs> yeah. Remember the night we learned about France's surrender in 1940? Vaguely. Why? I heard his speech on the radio. We were in Bordeaux. Wow, you sure have a knack for remembering the happier memories. I didn't get to decide. They were there. That's all. That's all. I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I can't imagine how traumatizing it must have been. It's never good to go stirring up the past. Yeah, no kidding. Thanks for sharing with me. I gotta go. I've got stuff to do. Just a sec. I know Hazel told you not to talk about it. But please, at least tell me where you're headed. I already told you I can't. Quit harping on it. Oh, you're passing up a precious ally, but fine. See you. <sighs> What's that? ID card? 1960. M.M. There you are. I've been looking for you for hours. Where have you been? Um, do I know you? Ha, huh, yeah. You're a real comedian. Seriously, where have you been? I'm sorry, but I don't think we've ever met. What the hell? What's the matter with you? Shit. My little visit to the Warlocks. I think it left a mark. I'm sorry, I'm really confused. I... Are you fucking kidding me? A mem. We've always been there for each other. You're my twin flame. I don't remember. What a fucking nightmare. What's going on? We're... We were... Oh, damn it. I'm sorry, I... I have to think. 
Hey. Sorry, not right now. I, I need to think. I should go. It's gonna be a long night. First, the Anarchs. Mm, but I have to find them first. Richard always liked masks, <laughs> like all children of my- Hey, Pumpkin. What are you looking at? The picture is scary. Come now. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're not going to be afraid of a couple paintings now, are you? No, but- Yes, I know. It's Richard. He was angry, but he wasn't angry with you. You know- I don't think he is. He doesn't like me following you around. Yes, but it's because he worries you'll get hurt. Pumpkin, there are much more serious things going on right now. Those people who put us into boxes. And who hurt you. Yes, them. But don't be scared. Mommy's here. I know. I won't let anyone hurt you. Ever. There you are. But what on earth is that mark? I ran into an experienced inquisitor. I was caught off guard. Not a dangerous mission, was it? You brought back a souvenir. I'm still in one piece. That's all that matters. Where have you been? I've been looking for you since I got back, but... Uh... The prince hasn't given me a moment's rest since I returned. But I won't hide the fact that I was happy that you were the one to... Well... That I informed them about the Second Inquisition. Yes, I can imagine. Everyone's petrified. I can sense it. He's lost it when she found out. I had a hard time convincing her I was telling the truth. I admit that even I... She's going to ask for your help. I'm sure of it. She didn't follow your treatment protocol. Usually, I give you your treatment when you awaken. You're not stable, Leisha. Enough with that already. You failed miserably with the mission the Prince gave you. That's proof of it. What do you mean? You didn't have a firm grasp of the risks. How could I have guessed that? And to top it off, you didn't bring anyone back to the Prince. You'll become more and more overwhelmed by your visions and your hallucinations. All this because she's afraid. Hazel has become dependent on you. Don't you think you're blowing things a bit out of proportion? Dependent on me? On your visions, of course! Don't you understand? She didn't bring them up? She did mention them in passing. She needs your premonitions to help her anticipate the future, to try to influence the course of events. She would like to, you mean? What do you mean by that? They're strange images. You mean to say they're symbolic? That's it, symbolic, I guess. But it's hard to say what they could mean. 
That's why I don't think it's a good idea to encourage Hazel to think she can rely on your visions to serve her own ambitions. Here's a dose of your treatment. Take it immediately. This will rid me of my premonitions, is that it? I don't have time to break this to you gently. I have to go straight to the point. What are you talking about? Laisha, Halsey isn't real. What? It's not true, is it? You're the only one who sees her. No, no, no. Our family has a gift for seeing things. No, no, I... Halsey is my daughter. In your mind, it's always difficult to pull you away from her. That's why I try to treat you as soon as you awaken to keep Halsey from reappearing. He's lying, Mom! He hates me! You're either lying or you're wrong. I don't know which, but it's not true. Laisha. But, but Hazel, H Hazel sees her. When your hallucinations increase, your premonitions do too. They become more specific and more reliable. And that's what the prince wants. But you grow increasingly catatonic. Halsey starts to take over. No! I don't want you to leave me! Enough! Shut up, both of you! It's just you and me, Leisha. Oh, no. He's a liar. It's, it's not true. I regret having to inflict this terrible shock on you each and every time. Every time? Leisha, the prince wants to see you immediately. Yes, of course. Just a minute. I'm not supposed to be here. I should have left for the Red Salon already. Why? No, you, you can't just leave like that. I have too many questions. Hazel doesn't like to wait. We'll have time. Go now. Obey the Prince, Leisha. Stay where it's safe, and above all, drink. <sighs> there. I'm coming. Laisha, I wanted to thank both of you for... The prince sees me. See, Mom? Richard's a liar. Are you all right, Laisha? You see me? Quit pretending. Come now, Laisha. What's wrong? You've been pretending to see Halsey since the very beginning. Why did you lie to me? Lie to you? I didn't lie to you. Halsey is part of you, and I accept you just the way you are. That's all. Stop it. Richard told me everything. What on earth are Tell you- Tell me the truth, damn it! Listen, Laisha. It's not what you think. So you're not pretending to believe that I have an imaginary child? I'm so damn sick and tired. Show some respect. I'm your prince. Listen to me. Hallucinations, premonitions, these visions are part of you. So, uh, Halsey, you're calling her a vision? I don't think Halsey is putting anyone in danger, especially not you. I don't think anybody should tell you to change who you are. But you were pretending! You lied to me, damn it! Show some respect for your prince. You're blaming me for taking a step into your world. Should I have laughed at you behind your back, like the others do? You're wrong about who's trying to manipulate you. I don't know. You don't trust me. I think I'm a little confused. Mom? I don't understand. Why are you saying that? Listen, I'm sure you weren't expecting it. I would have rather spared you all of this. But Richard is convinced you're better off without Halsey. Yes, he told me that. He told me that if Halsey stayed, I'd have even more visions. That's true, as far as I can tell. And that I'd end up unable to tell what's real from what's imaginary. He's even provided me with a treatment. Oh. Well, it's up to you to decide if you want to take it, of course. But before you make up your mind, I... We need your help. Our family is in danger, Leisha. Uh, I, I don't know if I can. 
I don't really feel like... The second Inquisition is here. You saw them yourself. Mom? Mom, I'm tired. This isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Please? I'm tired too, Sugar Fangs. You need to help us. After all that I've just learned, something tells me you're going to want me to have a premonition. Yes, I need to know if I made the right decisions. It's essential. All right, but I can't promise you anything. Try. I have to know. Mom? It's not as simple as that. I don't choose when they happen. Mom! Mom, listen to me! Yes, sweetie. What is it? There's no point. The swan will lose its head in two days. I just saw it. We know, Mom. What's going on? Laisha, is Halsey speaking to you? What is she saying? Halsey sees a swan. It'll lose its head in two days. But that could mean a lot of things. It's not very clear, you mean? Nothing's ever certain, and... Of course. There's... There's got to be a way to... Shuffle things. There must. Not after everything I've done. I won't believe it. Hazel, I... Please leave. I need to think. As you wish. I don't know who to believe anymore. Richard or Hazel. Please, Mom. I'll be a good girl, I promise. You don't exist. You're just in my head. Please don't leave me. Let me stay with you, Mom. No, Richard is right. I need to get better. Damn it. That hallway again. And my memory loss. Halsey. Oh, shit. I have to find Richard at the Red Salon. He's gonna have to explain this. Put him in there. Gently. We'll deal with him tomorrow.
Delson wasn't wrong. Now, how to find Stanford. This is what happens to mortals who step out of line. Hmm, I've never seen a machine like that. It's a perfect fit. A slot for what would appear to be a small card. Let's see how it works. <clears throat> there, I've got an implant, but it's blinking. Clearance implant required. That doesn't work on corpses. I can fix that. They don't know everything about us yet. Hey! Who are you? You shouldn't be on this floor. Identify yourself immediately, or I'm calling security. It's entirely normal for me to be here. You have nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little stressed out. Usually the men in suits stay downstairs. But you seem different. In a good way. Not like those Vatican guys, but I shouldn't say anything. You seem nervous. Is everything all right? Not really. Ever since those nut jobs took over, they've been acting like they run the place. Without a red implant, you can't do anything around here anymore. And I don't think your colleagues appreciate being kept in the dark. Before they came here and changed everything, it was actually pretty simple. What do you mean? Now there are tons more clearance levels. They're really proud of that downstairs. But the truth is, there are tons of errors all the time, and everyone has to update their implants constantly. Is that why mine doesn't work on the closet? Is that the first time it's happened to you? Unbelievable! What do I need to do? Just like everyone else, we're following procedure. I really don't have time for this. I have an important meeting to get to. You know how it is. These Vatican types don't like to be kept waiting. Yeah, I get it. I've got a bunch of green implants in the safe in my office. The code is 423. You can take one, but you have to remember to bring it back. Can you remind me how it works? Go to any implant machine. It's really easy. There are instructions if you need them. Thank you. Of course. Here we go. New clearance. This base is bigger than I thought. It's not going to be that easy to find Stanford. know who you're dealing with on your knees I said now he resisted how when Stanford learns that his colleague was held up he'll want to know who was responsible for it there will be consequences to pay Stanford scan your implant Are we 
we all right? Yeah. Next time, let me know. That was close. I'll have to be careful. Yeah, it's me again. I can't get into anything. I'm telling you, the database is locked. If I keep it up, I'll block the entire system. Sorry, I don't see what else I can do to help you. I'd ask Stanford himself, but he's not on this floor. Have you tried the archives? The archives? You think so? Maybe. I'll take a look. Well, if I could open the door... Different laboratory wings. Three members of the Society of St. Leopold are in charge on this floor. Haveron, Manor, and Gallagher. Oh. An implant database. If it were unlocked, I could locate Stanford. But I would need a red implant to do that. Wondering the Society of St. Leopold. What do these symbols mean? Oh, what now? Please, the door won't open. I thought your test was over. Yeah, but you have to put everything back the way it was. Otherwise, the security blocks everything. I'll take care of it, but I have to finish this first. <laughs> Very practical. That's why we do our tests in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. If you're in a hurry, you can take a look. Uh, I'll wait. Here we go. Finally. I hope I find something in the archives. But I doubt I will. implant may be the one that I need the epidermis is already breaking down I've been working on this for way too long uh, tell me you weren't there for Favarone's meltdown I only caught the end great she yells at me in front of everyone now it's her way of motivating the troops there are less painful techniques I'd be a lot faster if I didn't have to double as her personal assistant. I'm in the middle of a promising procedure, but I keep getting interrupted. No matter. I'd better stop complaining. You know, your problems won't solve themselves. Things can improve, but you have to talk about it. Favarone is a natural at giving orders, that's for sure. A bit too comfortable. We're not getting anywhere. Things were easier before. And she's not just anyone in the Society of St. Leopold. Henry, if you don't want to be the next body under my scalpel, I need those lab results by tomorrow. I'll be going now. Back to work. That's better. Doesn't seem to work. This logger belongs to Professor Henry. Easy. Those are ideal to avoid contaminating the experiment environment. Anything better to do? In case you were wondering, this isn't dinner and a show. Get back to work. A surgical steel table that's been carefully put away. Everything is ready for an operation.
These gloves are made from thin plastic. It would be easy to tear them. What the hell are you doing? I might as well throw that out now. Good job. Go get me this creature's cerebellum from cold storage. Here's the pass and the reference of the member I was working on. And hurry up! Apparently you are in cold storage. Great. I'll unlock the box containing the cerebellum. Hurry up. Jara, I didn't approve of your methods, but you were always an effective spy. They managed to get you, too. What a waste. It won't open. There's nothing to be done. It's locked. No, that's not possible. I still don't see what I asked for on my table. It sure took long enough. I can finally get back to work. I need that. What? Ah! see Stanford's location. These gloves are made from thin plastic. It would be easy to tear them. Ah. The implant was deactivated. I need to be careful. That's the key to my cover. There's a red implant. It might be the one I'm looking for. Hmm. There must be a way to get him out of here. Excuse me. If you're looking for a little light reading, this is not the place. I'm looking for something a little different. Can I help you? The person in charge here. If I needed to talk to him, how would I go about doing it? It's not easy. In general, Father Joseph doesn't leave the conservation area until he has finished his work. If he's restoring something, it can take a long time. He locks himself in with everything he needs, food and drink, and we don't see him again until he's done. What happens if there's an emergency? Look around you and ask yourself, what kind of emergency could there ever be in a museum or library? So he doesn't come out. That doesn't mean he can't be reached. He approves every request to borrow a book from the conservation area through a computer system. So, if I request a book, he'll come and hand deliver it to me? No, it's automatic. He'll just approve the request. His work is very important. We do everything we can not to interrupt him. I'd rather you not disturb him. My job is far more important than dusting off some musty old books. I just need to talk to him, and he's impossible to reach. There's not much I can do for you. As long as he's working on his book, he won't answer. What's he working on? I have no idea. He's working his way through his list. Yesterday, I heard him say that he finished the authors starting with R. He was very happy about it. I see that we have collected a lot of things. Yes, and it can be complicated to find your way around. What are you working on? Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to talk to you about it. Well then, you'll find some other way to get the information you're looking for. I'll be going now. I warned you, didn't I? Maybe you'll listen to me next time. A new face, suddenly overcome by a need for reading material? I just joined the department. We've got a few too many newbies around here, if you ask me. At least you're not from the Vatican. Are they causing trouble? 
They're a real secretive club. Information doesn't circulate freely, if you know what I mean. That's pretty much the opposite of my job description. You work with them every day. You must have gotten to know them pretty well by now. Other than Father Joseph Mana, I don't see them very often. Is he the guy in charge here? Yeah, he's in charge of the Treasury Department. A real fountain of knowledge. He's a very kind person who's got a very interesting take on what we're doing here. Well, I've got a lot of work. I'd like to talk to the person in charge of the library. He's a busy man, and his time is precious. What do you want to see him for? I tried to get through to him, but he doesn't answer. That sounds familiar. Father Joseph is extremely focused on his work. You could try talking to Villeneuve, or maybe by going through the consultation room. Hmm, I'll try. I'll be going now. The glass-walled room appears to contain very old books. They're extremely fragile. There must be a connection. This is a thermostatic control panel. It controls the temperature, humidity, but it's locked. It's unlocked. Temperature, humidity, that can't be good for the books. What? Oh my god! No, 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 no! Ah, thus Cain went to Abel. Excuse me. My conviction might not be as strong as it used to, but I can still sense your true nature. My stomach is in knots. I'm not wrong, am I? And you aren't crying out for help. Should I? We could just have a conversation. Quietly. Why? I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. To meet a kindred face to face. Who knows? Maybe you'll also learn something from the exchange. I am Father Joseph Manor. You can call me Galeb. Galeb? Very well. That's a much better start to our conversation. Or an exchange of best practices. I consider myself an interpreter of the great book of your existence. And you are a fascinating subject. Just what exactly am I to you? A variety of guinea pig? Have you heard of Raphael Renzi? I've heard that name somewhere. A Renaissance Inquisitor, if my memory serves me right. That is correct. I didn't expect you'd know him. Didn't Renzi have a change of heart? Yes. He came to believe that vampires were creatures of God, and as such, they deserved salvation. He was burned for his belief. That's the Inquisition's solution to everything. But Renzi's ideas were handed down over the centuries. The Church may have issued the Florentine Decree, but the questions he raised at the time still have gone unanswered. An Inquisitor with remorse? Something like that. You might be exactly what I'm looking for here. We could work together, but you're siding with the barbarians. A scholar like you has no place here. You're mistaken about us. Our common interest is to understand you. Then you must be blind. What makes you say that? The first Inquisition targeted heretics. We all know how that played out. In torture and flames. But that's all so far behind us. We don't have to make the same mistakes. I'm sure you know better than I do what happened in London and Vienna. And now, Boston. Unfortunately, the evidence is stacking up. Maybe what we're doing here isn't any different. It's obvious. Open your eyes. Admit that we can't just stand by and do nothing. Vampires are a threat. Why should I help you?
humans are also a threat. You pollute like swarms of locusts, destroying everything on the planet. Like all predators, we have a role to play in the food chain. I must admit that what you're saying isn't entirely crazy. You could well have your part to play in God's creation. You must understand my hesitation. If you were in my shoes, would you trust yourself? You're not a sheep. That's obvious. But that doesn't mean you'd help your enemies. It doesn't matter what I think. I do what must be done. Especially when the stakes concern more than just my person. Do you think I'm acting selfishly? That's not for me to judge. It seems so simple when you say it. But if evil is among us, it will be difficult to defeat. Like the snake in the Garden of Eden. So, I'll cut off its head. You mean to kill Monsignor Stanford? You're mad. That's not the solution. If we don't end this now, who knows what will remain of Boston when Stanford is finished with it? We won't go down without a fight. One single death to save so many lives. A simple sacrifice. I understand. I don't know where Stanford is, but you can locate him. Chiara Favaron. In the clinic. She's the only person who has access to that on the main computer. Very well, then. But please, no unnecessary violence. Leave, now, before someone finds us together. Not so fast. I'm counting on your discretion. And I am counting on yours. He won't betray me. And who knows, maybe I'll run into him again. What? What do you want? My time is precious, and I've got a boss breathing down my neck. So if you have no business here, either leave, or I'll call your friends to drag you out of here. Shut up and listen to me. I'm not here to play games. Nobody has time to waste here. Neither you nor I. Excuse me. I'm really under pressure right now. Everyone's stressed out. Anything else would be surprising. Are you talking about the Society of St. Leopold being here? It's true that Gallagher is running us ragged. What do you mean? She's always trying to go beyond the call to impress her superiors. And she takes it out on us. Well, I'll be getting back to work now. Your shoulder. Are you hurt? What? Oh, that. No. It's blood, but it's not mine. When you spend your days dissolving bodies, you're bound to get splashed. I'll be on my way now. She has a red implant that could help me find Stanford. It appears as if acid has eaten through this cable. That needs to go right to the control panel. I can take it. Access to the pyrolysis controls is locked. I'm going to need a key. Good, it works. Pyrolysis protocol.
Pyrolysis complete. From the looks of it, their prototypes appear to be quite effective already. Very well. Let's see what I have access to now. Wonderful. I can access the database. Stanford. Based on the GPS data, he's not far off. But below me, there's something flashing here. What did I unlock? A draft by Chiara Favaron. Monsignor, I am very honored by your offer to take over from you, but I am afraid I must decline. Our strategy is flawed. I've already told you that, and I wouldn't want to do any dishonor to your legacy here. <sighs> Chiara Favarone. End of dictation. Interesting. But I'm here for Stanford. It's now or never. There he is! Take him downstairs! Today is September 6, 2019. This is confession number six, conducted by Father Walter Stanford. I'm being assisted by agents Hawthorne and Beck from SAD. The blank body was apprehended in our laboratory. I imagine you used one of your little magic tricks on the guards at the entrance to get inside. I don't recommend that you attempt that with me. I must. Endure this. Very well. Let's get down to the heart of the matter. Begin by identifying yourself. I won't say a word. You disappoint me. I expected more maturity from an old leech like yourself. We know all about you. Galeb, Suleiman, Parasite. They're all just synonyms. Repeat after me, Suleiman. <laughs> Confite or Deo Omnipotenti. Repeat. Mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. Bear your guilt until your imminent final death. Bear it, and may the Lord have mercy on you. But let's not waste our time on trivial matters. You're a businessman. After all, time is precious to you, even if you have all eternity at your disposition. What do you want? I ask the questions, you answer. Things will be clearer that way. What did you hope to accomplish by coming here? I won't tell you a thing. You'll learn that I admire courage. But sometimes it comes with a price. Pray, if you still can. Domine la Maybe you'll stop your foolishness now. Be that as it may, you manage to find us. How? We have eyes everywhere. Did you really think we wouldn't notice anything? Impressive. Not to mention the fact that you managed to get in here. That's no small feat for a vampire alone. Were there any lost souls that helped you? You should know this, Tanford. Man is easily corrupted. Who? Your morgue administrator. Miss Kim. But Jezebel. She proved extremely easy to persuade. She shall pay for that. Let's try something else now. A subject that's especially dear to me. I know there's a place where you believe you are in safety. 
Since you know where we are, don't you think it's only fair that you tell us where you are? Hein, I'm telling you where we hide. Where? Let's finish this. Washington Street. A nice location. That could be right. I'm intimately acquainted with Boston, you see. I was born here. That's why it's so important to me that we clean it up. We'll verify this information quickly. Very quickly. I have so many more questions to ask. Let's see what I can find out from you. It seems we've caught another who's of greater interest than you. Who? See you soon, Caleb. Sorry, we're closed. Alicia, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't recognize you. I have to see Richard. It's kind of a bad time. There, there's a code red and... I know. Still in the basement. I need you to take care of it when you're finished here. No problem. And if you see Wyatt, tell him I'm looking for him. All right. If I see Wyatt, I'll tell him. So you tell us that the S.I. has the address of this salon, and you come anyway! Beryl, you shouldn't be here. They could show up at any time. I know that. Why are you here? Why are you here? I came here to retrieve or destroy my things, and then get out of here as fast as I can. Will you be long? This has been an occasional haunt for me for quite some time. I've got a lot of sensitive materials to deal with before I leave. I suppose no one's volunteering to stick around here. That's right, especially not me. If you see Wyatt, tell him to come downstairs to help me. It's an urgent request. Wyatt? Yes, a thin blood who works for me. He must be helping the staff. There's a lot of stuff here that could give the S.I. much more than just this bar. There'd be no point in running if they could track us down. Yes, of course. And if you see Richard, could you... I'll let him know you're looking for him, as usual. We're not open for customers. We're closed. I'm not here to imbibe. I'm looking for Richard. Have you seen him? Yeah, he gave orders to the staff. And then he went to the rotunda in the back. Is there someone named Wyatt here? Yeah, but he's transferring to Kime right now. He shouldn't be long. All right. Sorry, but the SI might show up at any second. I wouldn't hang around here if I were you. What are they doing? I've got to move, and they're still not all here. Sorry, but I've given too much today. I don't want your blood. Have you seen Dr. Dunham? Nah, uh, sorry. Ask the masters. Why are you waiting here? We can't leave without Clarice, apparently. Who's that? A fucking starlet who'll do anything for attention. She locked herself in the injection room. Do you know why? Because she's a fucking junkie. Just like all the vintages. Withdrawal makes her totally paranoid. Give us some Trajax to calm her down and we'll finally be able to leave. Do you have a minute? Just one. I'm looking for Wyatt. 
What has that degenerate weakling done now? He's gone and gotten us in trouble again, has he? I don't know. Beryl's looking for him. He was here five minutes ago. He's been running back and forth to get the kind to safety. Do you know where I can find Richard? Dr. Dunham? I've got no idea. He told us the SI was on its way and gave us orders to clean up as much as we could. I was too shaken up to see where he went. Sorry. Okay. What were he supposed to do? Destroy everything that would give the SI information about us. That's all. Of course. But we don't even know where to start. What are you working on now? Vessels that were stimulated by Dr. Dunham. I'm holding on to them until we solve an issue with the kind. You change their emotional state? We give them Trajax injections to trigger emotions that make them taste better. Now I remember. That's thanks to Richard's work. Yeah, our specialty vintages have become quite popular, so we can't up and lose them. I believe you. Actually, since we don't have a lot of time left, you should go see our manager at the back. She must need help. Okay, okay. I'll go see. Found the door to get her out. We don't have the equipment for that. I could ask Dr. Dunham. If... No way. We'll figure something out. When is Wyatt supposed to be back? He shouldn't be long now. If what Mr. Dunham says is true, we've got to get out of here fast. But we can't let them get their hands on I such have a to cover our tracks as much as possible. Do you think this business about the SI is true? Are they really coming here? All right. Go to the front. When Wyatt gets here, tell him to be ready. I'll see what I can do. Roger that. Better not leave this vessel behind us. What could she be doing there? Oh, come on! You've got to get out of there. We've wasted enough time already. Is, is that you, Betty? No, it's Laisha. Get out of here! Look, I can tell you're scared, but I can help. I don't know who to believe anymore. Who else could get me? I know they want to kill me. Who are you talking about? Them. The masters. And even those locked up in here with me. They all want me dead. No, quite the contrary. They want to keep you safe. If you stay here, you could die. I don't believe them anymore. They're gonna promise me Trajax to get me to leave, but they'll give me poison instead. That's not true. I won't open the door. Leave me alone! Oh, Leisha. I didn't expect to see you here. It seems like you know who I am, but I don't remember meeting you. Yeah, it's not the first time that that's happened to you. So I came here often? Oh yeah, but it's been going on three years since I saw you last. My name's Betty. I manage the salon for Dr. Dunham. Sort of. Is there a problem? Why aren't you leaving? It's just that Dr. Dunham asked me to evacuate the kind, but I'm never gonna be able to do it. A highly valuable donor has holed herself up in there. But why it's supposed to take her and the others? Do you know where Dr. Dunham went? He must be doing the same thing we're doing. Getting rid of anything we don't want the SI to get their hands on. Like what, exactly? He told us to destroy the Trajax compounds, so he must be getting rid of his stuff. What are those compounds you mentioned? It's one of the doctor's inventions, a stimulant for the donors. The blood is way better with it. Everybody loves it. Do you have any idea where the doctor might have started? Oh, he leaves his stuff laying around everywhere, you know. But most of it must be in his office. It's on this floor, in the rotunda. Or in his examining room in the basement. You said that Wyatt was dealing with the vessels? I need to talk to him. Do you know where he is? He's been running back and forth to get the kind to safety. I've got to get this damn vessel out before he's done. Why can't you make the vessel come out? All the commotion has pushed her over the brink. Or maybe she thinks she's being taken to the slaughterhouse? There's no way of knowing. She won't talk to us. What's the slaughterhouse? 
Oh, that's what the kind call the basement. That's where we take donors that have been drained by clients. Or donors that have been overused. Mr. Underwood is in charge of that. Oh, he works here now? Yes, he's in charge of the accounting, recycling the vessels. Really anything the doctor isn't interested in doing. And he's very talented, I imagine. Let's say there are a lot of deliveries, but not a lot of money coming in. If you see what I mean. I do. A blue blood. Why don't you force her to come out? I can't. She's locked in the injection room, and there's no way to open the door. And I'm not allowed to damage her. She's a vintage. I can sense that you disagree. Well, I'm supposed to deal with her, but I can't even touch her. Because she's worth too much? What does it mean when you say she's a vintage? They're the donors that have the strongest reaction to the Trajax injections. It gives their blood incredible character. A vintage. But when they don't get their dose, they can get out of control. This vessel flipped out and went totally paranoid. I see. But the SI had better not get their hands on her. Can you help me? She might listen to you. I'd heard there was a lot of compromising stuff on us here. So I'll see what I can do. Yeah, go ahead. And clean up anything we forgot and... Yeah, I get it, Betty. I'll do it if I can, okay? Fine. All right. There's a pass in the bar that'll give you staff clearance. You're gonna need it. Thanks. Quiet. Is the second convoy ready? Um... You're gonna have to wait just another minute. What? Don't tell me there's a problem. We've been waiting around Shit. for an hour now. No, I'll bet he's on it. Don't worry about it. No? I don't want to be hanging around here. The SI could show up any minute now. Listen, we're just waiting on the last one. She locked herself in the injection room, but we're working on getting her out. Maybe make a couple of trips to get the others to safety in the meantime. Shit. With how much that fucking juice bag's worth? But when there's nobody else left, I won't wait around another hour. Is that clear? Obviously. Fucking donor. Just wait till I see her again. Yes? Are you in charge of the vessels? Yes and no. I'm just in charge of moving them. Name's Wyatt. Laisha. I know, I know. I'm gonna make a few more trips, but there's still one missing. I think Betty's having a hard time getting her to come out. Where are you taking them? I'm getting them to safety. Some of them are worth tons. Okay, but before you leave, Beryl wants to see you. What? No way! Go see Barrel. Right now. I... can't. I said, go see Barrel. I've got... orders. I can't. I've got orders. He gave me an order. Who did? The doctor. Dunham gave me an order. I have to get the kind to safety. You saw Richard? Do you know where I can find him? In his office, downstairs. He might have left. Orders. I've already got orders. Shit. I won't get anything else out of him. Richard already forced his mind. June 17, 2008. <laughs> Beryl and I are going to create a blood bar of a much higher quality than I thought. I will once again be able to focus on my research and oversee the work of the members of the Chantry. Beryl and his mad ideas. Ultimately, the Prince was right. The solution for hunger is in my research. If we manage to stabilize these effects in more inconspicuous containers, we will become invisible to the rest of the world. October 28th, January 27th, 2002, 2240. I thought I was close to a major breakthrough last month with the promising results from the new types of triple X chemical doses. Unfortunately, it seems I got ahead of myself. It appears that the dose of amphetamines that I gave them was too high. 
There must have been an error in my calculations. Patients H216, H217, H222, H225, and H226 were lost in the experiment. I must ask Wyatt to find new test subjects. All of this time spent preparing them, wasted. Note for patient one's case file. The treatment is following its course with continued positive effects on the hallucinate. Come in. Some chemicals have just arrived for you, Dr. Dunham. Great. Put them here. You may leave now. June 7. Wow. That looks complicated. I get that you're busy, but... But you decided to interrupt me anyway. Fantastic. Wyatt isn't coming to help. Thin blood and a coward too. We're all going to be in trouble just because he's scared. He doesn't know what he's got coming. Wow. Well, hold on. Why are we all going to be in trouble? Get out of here, now! He'll only talk to Wyatt. That much is clear. What are you hiding, Beryl? You dare? You leave me no choice. This is madness. What part of out do you not understand? I'm worried you're going to make our situation worse. What is this world coming to? I'm a member of the Council. What I do is no business of yours. This is Richard's Red Salon. Anything that could get us in trouble is my business. Your dear Richard. You're always protecting him over and over. Yes, that's just how we Malkavians are. How touching. Completely incomprehensible, but touching nonetheless. I already told you, I'll find a solution. I won't keep you any longer. <laughs> I'm not leaving until I'm sure there's no danger with whatever you and Wyatt are up to. What makes you think I could be hiding something so perilous? It must be something serious. I can sense your fear, Beryl. Wyatt flakes out on me with the SI hot on our heels, having to cover our tracks. Of course I'm a bit perturbed. So then why don't you want to tell me anything? I'm thinking it over. And how's not the time to turn down a helping hand? If I accept your help, you can't tell anyone about it. Ever. Unless I need to. Well, if you're honest, I'll give you that. But I still think it's a bad idea. You're not the sharpest knife in the kitchen. If I let you help me, it could make matters worse. So stay out of it. Do you understand? And our prince? What about the prince? So if I understand correctly, she shouldn't be involved in this either? You're getting bolder, I see. Because as a member of her council, I'm guessing she'd be interested. Bravo! One point for Laisha. Fine! I give up. Ah, I'll never manage to clean it all up myself. So you're saying you... No, there's no time for that. I accept your offer to help, but that doesn't mean I trust you. We'll see about that once you've gotten rid of... Just destroy it. Destroy what? You'll see.
I helped you without knowing what I was doing. Now that you're part of this, I don't see why I shouldn't tell you the truth. Ha! You just destroyed Quentin King III, our former prince. Hold on. I don't understand. It's right in front of you. Congratulations, Leisha. Or should I call you Kingslayer? Shit! You made me destroy King. <laughs> yes, and that's just what all those who can see the past like you will see. You're going to make me take the blame for this? You're a real piece of shit. <laughs> no, I'd say we're just in the same boat now. You insisted, may I remind you. I might as well make some use of that. But why destroy him? He was dangerous. We didn't have time to evacuate him. If the SI had found him, if he had grown strong again, we would all be lost. What the hell was he doing down here? Hilda had Quentin brought here. Revenge, I guess. I didn't ask too many questions. She drops by regularly to shorten his limbs. I just sold a little of his blood on the thin blood market with Wyatt. <sighs> and they say I'm sick. Your constant complaining is unbearable. Fuck you, Beryl. <laughs> it's been a very profitable partnership, I'd say. Let's end it now, shall we? Why are there so many bodies stored here? Well, we've got to do something with them when they're empty. Like get rid of them? Yes, and I take care of that myself. Including pocketing the profits of their sale? behind the prince's back. <laughs> You're a quick learner. Happy? Has the Hartford Chantry had an office here for long? Long is a relative concept, especially with your memory. What are they doing here? Research on how to stabilize the enhanced blood developed by Richard. Oh yeah, that's part of Hazel's agreement. Bravo, you figured it all out. Do you know where I can find Richard? I just realized that no matter what I say, you'll keep asking me that every two minutes. Is it a disease or something? No, but... I don't know. You said something about compromising information on us here. Yes, anything with addresses, for example. The SI could trace them back to Hartford or our clients. Obviously. The Trajacks, too. They can't get to our suppliers. Wow. There's a lot of work to be done. What an asshole. I destroyed a kindred. Now nobody can use it. Whoa, what the... A lab? Shit, it's the SI. We've got to get the fuck out of here. goes back a ways. I've got a feeling of deja vu. Like I know this story. I've heard the name Marie before. But where?
No. It, it can't be true. She's not real. It's all in my head. If she wasn't real, that man wouldn't have seen her. No, not you. You don't exist either. If they hadn't seen her, they wouldn't have shot at her. You disappeared! I was doing better! Laisha, look at me. You're fine. But you have to find what you lost. No! I won't listen to you. I didn't lose anything. Huh. Richard has scrambled your brain so much that you don't even remember. What are you talking about? Who you really are, of course. I know who I am. Are you sure? If that's true, then tell me. Who are you looking for? I... No, it's not. Say it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That's good. That's the only honest answer you can give. You don't have any idea what's going on. Because you've forgotten who you are. But you can get it back. Concentrate. You're like a jigsaw puzzle that's been broken into a thousand scattered pieces. If you don't take the time to piece yourself back together, the rest is pointless. But I don't have time! You don't have a choice. Take the time you need. Please. Give yourself a chance. You're worth it. Even if I wanted to, I, I wouldn't know where to start. I can help you. Let's start from the beginning. Try to remember. What's your name? Uh, I think... <laughs> yes? I saw a name on a patient file. I think my name is... Marie. Yes! I knew you'd remember. Welcome back, Marie. It, it's coming back to me. Let's try something else. But don't think about it too much. Trust your instincts. Say the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, all right. Who is Richard? thought he was my sire but he isn't is he Halsey's sire yes it's coming back to you you're making progress I have one last question for you you can take your time with this one who is Halsey I'm afraid I might be wrong I, I found a file on one of Richard's patients she was Juliet wasn't she? That's right. You remembered. That's good. Our name was Marie. We were born in 1911 in France. Do you remember? Our parents worked at an explosives factory. That is Charlene. That's right. Since they were too poor to pay someone to watch me, they put me in a locker during their shift. There was an accident. It took both their lives. It took them ten days to find me in the rubble. We stopped talking after that. They took me to the asylum. Yes. That's where we first met Richard. He was the night psychiatrist. I thought we'd never get out of there. They kept us locked up for ten years. <laughs> Do you remember his look when we found out we were pregnant with Juliet? <laughs> I named her Juliet after her grandmother. It's a lot prettier than Halsey. I never understood why Richard called her that in her file. I wonder if he knew who the father was. We were forced to flee. Yes, in 39, when the war broke out in France. Do you remember? The Nazis came for psychiatric patients too. We, we found a ship that could take us to Boston. But Juliet caught typhus on the way over. That was all we could think about. Richard couldn't do anything for us. He had to embrace her in order to save her. He thought it would calm us down. No, that's not true. But Juliet's hunger was overpowering. When we went to soothe her, 
She drained us of our blood. I was on death's door. Richard didn't want to lose us. He slit Juliet's wrist so we could drink. He saved my life. No, Marie. We died that night. And we became the child of our dead daughter. He said he wanted to help me. He uses us as a guinea pig for all of his experiments. When it goes wrong, he wipes our memory and makes us forget everything. We slumber for a few years and then reappear court as if nothing happened. I trusted him. He's always used us, but now you know it. Again, come on. Let's go save Juliet. I have to change my appearance to go any further. Jesse, stay calm. She had no choice. Shit, no! Fuck your protocol! Fuck those fucking monsters, too! Listen to me, damn it! She just saved all our asses. She blew herself up to protect us. Yeah, but... Calm the fuck down! You would've done it, too. Any one of us would. Cassie... Shit. Yes? What happened here? Cassie. She triggered her explosive belt. Most likely to protect us. Her death is really gonna shake everybody up. She was a good person. Shit. Yeah. Shit. Be careful until we clean up. The pipes were damaged in the blast. Okay, thanks. It's Richard. Halsey, where are they taking her? I need to go to the loading dock. We have to assess whether the structure will hold after the explosion. Oh well. Alright, but we still have a process to follow. I need to record you leaving the area. Not just yet. I don't think I'm done here. Do as you like. I'll have to get by. Even without this implant. All right, I'll take care of this office. Anything of interest here? Unintelligible documents. I think it's like they were doing some kind of ritual. I'll go inspect another room. Okay. through this time? Yeah. Here. Over here. Hey, Saul. Took you long enough. Thanks for getting back to me. I wasn't sure you'd kept the pager. You owe me one. So, is it true? Are they really here? Yes. Ugh. I warned Thane like you asked me to. He's waiting for you. What kind of mood is he in? Worried, suspicious. Expect to be put through the grinder. We'll see about that. Any advice? Depends on what you want with him. Just don't forget that you're not welcome here. Thanks, Saul. I feel much better now. 
Is anyone with him? Yeah, the gang leaders. He sent for them before you came. Why did he do that? Why do you think? He's defending his territory. I want to see him. Wait for me here. Randall! Okay, you can go in. Mr. Thane, thank you for agreeing to see me. I'm not your enemy. You don't need that. I thought you worked for Iverson. Yeah, but... Then I'm going to keep that with me. Saul told me about the SI. I got the message. Iverson didn't need to send one of her lackeys after me. That's not why Hazel sent me. Then why are you here? To... ask for your help. The SI in Boston. Nobody saw it coming, and it's a real threat. But Hazel has a plan to get us out of this mess. Us? Since when is there an us? The SI is as much a threat to you as it is to us. The enemy of my enemy. Can we cut to the chase? We managed to pick up their trail from International Place. We know where they're hiding. They've got a base here? Yeah, on Long Island. They're more prepared than we thought. <laughs> Underestimating adversaries is your defining trait. But we might have a fighting chance. What? The beating you guys took wasn't enough? The Prince may be a lot of things, but she's no coward. She won't give up without a fight. As arrogant as ever. At least she's got ideas. Not everyone can say the same. So what's her brilliant plan? She wants us to cover our tracks. Destroy everything they've got on us to buy us some time. How? By sending someone over there to damage their system. Me, actually. And you agreed. Of course I did. I'd do anything to save Boston. Then you're even dumber than I thought. I don't see how your little operation concerns us. I need a diversion. Something big. An assault. You want to use us. I want your help. The court will be there too. Think about it. A joint attack tonight. Just long enough to wipe everything they've got on us. No, it's out of the question. Sir. We didn't leave the cam to better serve the prince. Let Iverson play her own hand. If she wants to throw herself on the pyre, that's her problem. Ceres, tell everyone to come back. We're bringing in the patrols. Okay. Forget Hazel. I'm the one who needs your help. I won't be able to pull this off without you. You chose the wrong side. There's nothing I can do for you. I already gave you my answer. You're free to rethink the choices you've made. And you're free to leave. You're making a huge mistake. God damn it. I warned you. I can't just leave like that. We've got to be able to make him change his mind. I've already done my part. Saul, please. You can't give up on me now. <sighs> Damn it, Lewis. Does that mean yes? <sighs> there might be a way. You're gonna have to hustle. Randall called the gang leaders here for reassurance. But they could be useful to you if you manage to convince them. Do you think Thane will change his mind? Uh, there's strength in numbers. You're the head of the Coterie, too. They know you. If you talk to them... And then what? I've already risked my neck for you. I get it. Are you sure that could work? Thane's gonna be pissed. That's the risk. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. 
All right. Let's say for a second I want to try. Who are they? Ceres and Ratha. She's in charge of the Domain's militia. He heads up a group of hackers. You'll find them inside. If I manage to pull this off, are you with me? That's my condition. I can't go up against Randall alone. It'd be too risky. Thanks. I owe you one. You already do. Saris, I need to talk to you. Randall told you to leave. He didn't say when. Oh, you think you're clever. What do you want? We have to talk about the SI. There's nothing more to be said. Randall was perfectly clear. He's making a mistake. The whole city's in danger. Don't waste your breath. I don't listen to the court's underlings. Now get out of here. Saris, just hear me out. Get out. God damn it. Randall should have been tougher. Hey. I see what you're trying to do. Is that a threat? You're way off. I'm on your side. I want to help. Why would you take that risk? Well, because our survival depends on it. This isn't the first time Cirrus has put us in danger. And what do you suggest? An exchange of mutual benefit. Do you know why Cirrus disagrees with your plan? Out of loyalty, I guess. No, that's part of it, for sure, but that's not all. It's because of the Crimson Oaks. I've heard of them. I remember those guys. Hazel hated them. There was a time she fought with them. I thought they disappeared. Their leaders fled after the fall of London. Most of them followed, but others stayed behind and went underground. I see, but what's the connection with Ceres? <laughs> she works for them. And she seems to be pretty attached to their agreement. What kind of agreement is it? What do you do for them? I don't do anything. Cirrus deals with that. As far as I understand, she runs logistics for them. She rents boats, houses. I don't know what they're up to, but it seems big. If Cirrus works for them, that would explain why she won't help Hazel. Yeah. But I got a plan for that. It won't be pretty, but it'll be good for the both of us. You in? I need more details. Uh-uh. Not till you agree. So, are you with me or not? I'm with you. All right. Then listen carefully. I've got dirt on Sirius. Bank accounts. Kind of stuff that's shady enough to get her kicked out of the coterie for good. Let me guess. Your files prove she's skimming money off the top. Am I right? Bingo. And is it true? That's not important. You couldn't find anything to blame her for, could you? I got tons of things to blame her for. But nothing blaring you're guilty. All that matters is getting rid of her. If Cirrus is out, then I'll replace her, and I'll help you. I doubt a couple pieces of paper will be enough to push her out the door. Yeah? Well, think again. We don't have the same resources you do. So, if we were to find out, she's been helping herself to the little we have. How long have you been sitting on these papers? I've been preparing all of this for a couple of months. I was just waiting for the right time to make my move. You're using me. I'm friggin' trying to help you. What are you planning to do with your little papers? You can't just whip them out like that. Somebody's gotta find them. And for that to happen, I need you to help me plant them somewhere. Where? In Ceres's personal safe. It's in a secure room. You'll need this pass to get in. Great. Is there a code? For the safe, I mean. It's not a code. 
It's a card. Here. You'll find it upstairs. Any questions? I think that's about it. In that case, I'll arrange to get you access to upstairs. Here, take the files. Come back when you got some news. I'm counting on you. Hey. Any news? I'm working on it. Then what are you doing here? I heard you fuming over Saul earlier. I found some of her ferals skulking around my vessels. They couldn't get out of here soon enough. I'm fed up with them. Are you not much for company? No, not when they're making themselves at home in my territory. Before you friggin' know it, they're pissing on the walls. I've gotta go. Hmm. Excuse me. Get out of here. Is there a problem? You've got no business here. Go back to crawling around at Iverson's feet. Stay calm, girl. This is a waste of my time. Time to go hunting, and I'm on duty tonight. I don't give a shit. You should have eaten earlier. But I promise I won't damage her. Yardley will never know. Please, I need this. Oh. I warned you. Next time, it won't be your balls getting popped. It'll be your head. Shit! Fucking thin blood. I just need... Here we are. The vault. not exactly next door. Wait a sec. That asshole. He's as involved with the Oaks as Ceres is. His excuse for getting rid of her is bogus. What's his game? Hey. Any news? About that job you gave me. Yes? Your reasons for getting rid of Ceres were all bullshit. You deal with the Oaks just like she does. You went through my safe? And it's a damn good thing I did. Now explain yourself. It's none of your fucking business. Were you able to plant the files? That's all you can think about? Yeah, I did it just like you asked me to. I want to work with you, but no more lies. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. So, what's next? We try to buy ourselves some time. I need to tell the others about our little discovery. In the meantime, you need to keep Saris in her office. How am I supposed to do that? Go talk to her. Make up some dumb excuse. Anything. We'll meet up with you when we're ready. And then? I have a hard time imagining her accepting. That's my problem. Now get out of here. We don't have a second to waste. Look who's back. I know you missed me. Actually, I was wondering... Do you ever, um... Recruit? What? You want to join us? I know a girl who might be thinking about it. She feels a little out of place in the court. Like she doesn't fit in. And then there's her ex. A girl. Tell your friend we don't recruit. 
We take in newcomers. There's a difference. Does she know what desertion entails? I guess so. Guessing won't be good enough. This isn't some game. It's a leap into the unknown. She could... Yardley, what are you doing? <laughs> Thanks, M.M. I'll take it from here. Can I count on you? Oh, yeah. I'll catch up to you later. Now go! Need to change his plans. What they just told us is big news. I'm not gonna wait around here forever. You'll do what Saul tells you to do. Period. If you don't like it, you can go drown yourself in the bay. We can't drown. You know that, right? Ugh. Another hour or two. Until then, stay cool. Saris and her bunch are on edge tonight. I don't want any trouble. Got it? Yeah. Ah, still in one piece. I'm impressed. Your friends might hate me, but they're afraid of Hazel. They wouldn't dare touch a hair on my head. It's not just Hazel. Everyone knows the Black Rattler's Rose. So, what do you think? Must be a hell of a change from all those tight asses at court, huh? Yeah. It's not bad. Things seem a lot simpler here. Easier to understand. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. It's a far cry from their little intrigues, sure, but it's not all roses here either. Hazel's been clamping the vice. Nah, it's not just her. The gang wars are also a problem. And then there's the overpopulation issue. We deal with it. It's the price of freedom. Exactly. You know, your message earlier. Uh, at the time, I really thought you wanted to take the plunge. Or that you were gonna join us. <laughs> Got your hopes up. I'm a little disappointed. I think you have your place here. You should think about it. Not tonight. I know. But if you have any questions, let me know. I need to know more about Rafa. Can you help me out? Mm, not really. Sorry, he, he keeps a low profile. You must know something. Nothing you don't know already. He's a hacker. He's the head of a group of hackers. That's pretty much it. That's nothing. I warned you. His henchmen would be able to tell you more than me. I tried to convince Saris to help us, but I wasn't able to. But I found an alternative. Oh yeah? Saris's men are with us. Yardley promised. Yardley? Not Cirrus. He's in charge of her group now. What the hell did you do? I found a solution. Holy fuck, Emin, you... Shit. Randall's not gonna like that. There's only one way to find out. Did Rafa refuse to help too? I haven't seen him yet. So, I guess we don't have a choice. We have to go see Randall. I want to look around here a little more. Suit yourself, but don't take too long. We don't have all night. I'll be quick. Nice bikes. I'd love to take one out for a spin. All alone on the open road, driving from city to city. With no responsibilities, no prints. Hmm. More curve in the trajectory. Ozzy, you... Not now, okay? What? You're not interested? No. Mm -hmm. Suit yourself. You'll be sorry that you didn't listen to me. Sure. A bouquet of eyeballs. Alert and vigilant. For a bunch of folks who spend their time spying on the web, it makes sense. We are... Go bother someone else. I love these murals. What the hell is this? Hey! Is anybody here? <gasps> what? I didn't do anything! It wasn't me! Don't hurt me! What did they do to him? Hi. What? 
Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder. He's totally high. Oh, it's always the same with every game. You're overreacting. Poker, you win. Gin Rubby, you win. Crazy Eights, you win. I'm good at cards, that's all. I don't know why I even try. I know I'm going to lose. You should talk to your shrink about it. I've always liked this game. Straight, four of a kind, flush. I've played my share of high rollers. Hey, what are you looking at? Hey. What do you want? This whole domain, the warehouses, the docks, does it all belong to Thane? Yep. Seems awful big for just one guy. He's not alone. He's got us. And then there's Cyrus's gang. Do they live here? That's one way to look at it. Thane shares the domain with them. That's generous of him. Logical is more like it. He keeps his friends close. Does Thane treat his retainers well? Um, well... Come on. It's just between you and me. It's just that... We don't get to talk to him much. Never, actually. He ignores us most of the time. You've never spoken to him? No. We get our orders from Ceres. Thane. We're not allowed anywhere near him. I'll leave you to your game. Later. So you're the one behind these collages? Some of them. Yeah, you're the chick from the cam, right? And then? I heard some guys talking about you. You don't seem to have a lot of fans around here. I represent everything they despise. It's natural for them not to trust me. I don't blame them. You should watch out. Not everyone is as forgiving as you are. Oh, because you are? I don't have anything against you. We're all just trying to survive, right? Even if I'd rather see your prints burn to a crisp in broad daylight. There are a lot of you who feel the same way. And not just here. Answer me honestly. Are you here because you believe in her? Or because you were forced to come? She's strong. And she knows exactly what she wants. I trust her. That makes us enemies. Are you going to attack me? I'm a gracious host. I just hope I won't cross paths with you again after tonight. Same here. Now, if you'll excuse me. As you please. Here we go. It wasn't that hard. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. I should have known. I'd heard that the prince's bitch was sniffing around here. How did you get in? Through the front door. How banal. I'll come up with something better next time. You must be M. Lewis. M. Lewis. Tell me, why shouldn't I just put an end to you right now? I'm not sure the prince would look too kindly on someone who wasted her emissary. You're nobody here. I'm an ambassador of the court. And this is clearly not the time to be alienating the entire Boston Camarilla. I see. You're smart. I'll give you that. You know what flagged wave to save your skin. It's one of my many talents. That and nosing around places that you have no business to be. Oh. No. I'm not here to spy on you. Then why exactly are you here? Saul told me I should come see you. She thinks you could help us. Don't tell me she agrees with your shitty plan. How do you... I got a detailed report about your little crisis meeting. 
Thane was right to refuse to cooperate. It would be a huge mistake. It will be if you don't help us. We're not allies. Never have been, never will be. So why should we risk our asses to save yours? Because you're not dealing with just anyone. Everyone here knows Hazel, right? You know how she is. Vengeful, obsessive. Underestimating her would be a serious mistake. I don't take kindly to threats, Lewis. Are you seriously going to tell me there's no truth in my words? Hmm. If only I were still naive enough to believe the contrary. But I know how your prince works. So you know that you can't refuse this alliance. If you say so. Anyways, the old bat is wrong. London! Vienna! We've seen what they can do. You're no match for them. You don't stand a chance. Oh! Maybe you've got a better plan. Yes. Two. Do nothing. If we keep our heads down, the SI will forget about us sooner or later. But going underground is pointless. They know we're here. They'll plow through this town with a fine tooth comb, and they'll exterminate you. You don't know that. It's either that. Or we stand here waiting around for them to massacre us. I see. You're giving us the choice between being annihilated or being annihilated as heroes. I have no intention of being destroyed tonight. We're the hunters. It's not the other way around. A heroic last stand. I bet the gangrels will be into that. It would even make some of my daredevils happy. Hmm. Listen. Even if you're right, even if all of that were true, I couldn't help you. I can't. Why not? What's stopping you? You wouldn't understand. Explain. You should know, since you went through my cabin. Hazel. There you go. Hazel. She doesn't know I'm still here. And if she were to find out... Well, you get the picture. I've been working for years to make sure it doesn't happen. It was complicated enough before, but it's even harder now that she's Prince. My existence is at stake, Lewis, and I'm not going to sacrifice myself for your alliance. You're the leader of your group. Going after you means going after the Anarchs. Hazel doesn't need that. She's got enough to deal with rooting out all the snakes in the camp. Yeah, but I'm not the Baron. You're still an important leader. I am not okay with the idea of using the movement as a shield. For fuck's sake, Rafa! This is an emergency. Do I need to paint you a picture? No, I get it. I'm going to set my principles aside. Just this once. I got your message. You can count on me to try to clean up your prince's mess. Thanks, Rafa. I'm not doing it for you. I know. But thanks anyways. We've got to get ready. I'll give the others a heads up and tell them to let you in. Great. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into, Lewis. We won't forget you. I've got to get ready. I'll meet up with you later. But that's the last time you break in here. Got it? Got it. I did it. Rafa is with me. With him and Yardley. They should come around quickly. I've got to tell Saul. Is there a problem? I was able to talk to Rafa. And? He was suspicious at first. But he came to understand the severity of the situation. He's agreed to help us. Well done. Rafa's a little 
rough around the edges, but he's a good leader. He did the right thing. So, I guess we don't have a choice. We have to go see Randall. All right. I'm right behind you. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into. Saris, we'll see. What the? Yardley? What have you done? Oh, there was a slight mishap. Thane was more stubborn than expected. Did you know about this? Of course not. I wanted to talk to him, not off him. You'll get over it. You have no idea what you've done, you idiot! Please, calm down. There's no time left. We have to go. But Randall and deal with that man. Rafa's waiting for us. We've got to go. This isn't over. Captain, not sorry to be back in peace. The unit that came back earlier told us there were casualties. Cassie. That's right, soldier. She did what had to be done to protect us all. Here. Anything to report while we were gone? The kid you brought back is already causing trouble. Halsey! Oh, they lay one finger on her. We had to increase security. You have to give your full name now. You can't just use your badge. Seriously? Another new procedure? Davis knows you, Captain. He'll let you in, no problem. Thank you, soldier. I'll be in the break room if anyone's looking for me. I want to be here if my men need me. All right, Captain. security protocol soldier we have to record everyone who goes into or comes out of the building please give us your full id first and last name so i can verify your information your name is shit i need a credible name i need to get inside then i'll take time to finish up here that'll be easier suit yourself hang in there sweetie mommy's coming these meat bags are going to pay for dragging you back here there are a lot of them it won't be hard to blend in, but the captain, he's got special privileges. Cream for bruises, painkillers. Yes, soldier? Were we able to bring anything of value back from this mission, Captain? Yes, soldier. Mission accomplished. We also brought back a human who lived among them. I hope that by giving these elements to the Society of St. Leopold, we'll be able to clean up Boston that much faster. Uh, the little girl we found? That's no kid. Do you know what they did with her, Captain? Agent Olsen must have taken her down to one of the labs. What will he do to her? No idea. But there's a reason he's Stanford's right-hand man. He's obsessed by the infected and won't pass up a chance to study them. Uh, I see. Captain, uh, do you know if we need to stand ready for another strike? Of course. Isn't that what I've taught you from the very start? We're hunting unpredictable creatures. We need to plan for every possible situation if we're going to fight them. It's a war that requires us to be on our guard at all times. I see. You were in Kendrick's unit, weren't you? Kendrick McDougal? You knew Ken? Yeah. So all of this hunting and fighting is for him. Getting revenge for someone you love is... the best motivation there is. I hear you, Captain. Oh. <laughs> 
who's a monster and who isn't. You don't even know anymore. Because everyone around you has become one. But... no! Monsters everywhere. Your family, your men, people in the street. They're all monsters. All of them! Uh, it's terrifying! You can't help it. You're one too. Can I help you? I heard you talking earlier about the little girl we brought back. That's not a little girl anymore. She's been infected. Yeah, yeah. Was there a problem? Must have been, because the security protocol changed. But nobody really knows what happened. What did they do with her? No idea. The SAD agents and St. Leopold guys are in charge of it. Oh. I didn't know that. I won't bother you any longer. See you later. Hello. Hey, how can I help you? Were you out on assignment tonight? No, I was guarding the base. I injured my shoulder on my last assignment. I got hit with a block of cement when one of these things came through the wall. The treatment in the locker... It's probably hers. You were lucky. That's what I tell myself when I see how many assets we've lost in just two days. We captured a child during the op. Yeah. I saw her coffin come through. Uh, her what? You know, the containers we transport them in. Uh, what are they gonna do with her? No idea. What happens in the lab, stays in the lab. I'd better go. We've got work to do. See you later. Yes? You've never been attached to anything or anyone. You're not interested in anything. Not things, not people. Everything tastes like ashes and asphalt. Everything is gray and flavorless. You're incapable of caring about others, or even caring about yourself. It's like death. Yes, but you're alive, and for a long time, I hope. Can I help you? You're going to forget all the moments in your sad, pitiful life where you felt loved. But... I... I... You have no memory that you ever felt love at any point in your life. Nobody loves you. Everyone hates you. Despise you. They mock you. <laughs> you have never loved yourself. I... It's... It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's horrible. And now it's your life. I'm looking for a name. Which one should I use? And all these piles of junk. New security protocol for the entire base. We have to record everyone who goes into or comes out of the building. Please give us your full ID, first and last name, so I can verify your information. Your name is... Watson, Natalie. Great. Everything is in order. You can go in. Hurry up. There's no time to waste. I don't have a 
minute to lose. Where is Halsey? No, I can't be seen in this form here. Some backup at last. I was hoping for more. The officers had to go deal with some crisis. They left us to deal with this mess. Just after the C-23 container got here, maybe 10 minutes ago, they put a soldier into isolation and went to the war room. They asked me to print out a tech report and then they all left with a container. Or something like that, but I still have no idea how to file this. All right, I'll take a look. Thanks. Two of us is an overkill. One of Halsey's drawings, spattered with blood. That means she's been here. I need to hurry. That's not... Hey, you can't go in there. This room is off limits to everyone but officers. Then why are you allowed to be here? I'm in charge of filing everything about the girl before we ship her out. Huh. Out of curiosity, do you know where they put her? No, I just put things away. I don't read the reports. It's above my pay grade. Come on, get a move on. What happened here? They supervised Operation Burrow from here. It ended in crisis management. But I told you, you don't have clearance to know any more than that. Okay, fine. You exist. But where are you? What have they done to you? I'm going to make them pay. Halsey's room. Sweetie. Oh, how could Richard have left you in there? Huh. They're afraid I'll come looking for her. That's not going to make things easy for me. Shit, Halbert. I don't believe it. How could a kid do something like that? An illusion. Shit! Richard! Wait! Calm down! Richard. You shouldn't be here. Leave, now! My daughter exists. You lied to me. And even worse, you let them bring her here. My daughter. Listen, now is neither the time nor the Stop place Stop it! Enough! I don't give a shit about where we are, how dangerous it is, or anything else. You stole Halsey from me! You made me forget everything! Why did you do it? I did it to protect both of you, of course! You caused too much of a stir within the court because of your gifts. They're both your strength and your greatest weakness. No! That's not gonna work anymore, Richard! Ugh, your excuses that only you alone understand! Oh, what danger could have been so great that you felt like you had to separate us, lie to us, and manipulate us like you did? It, it's because of the prince! She called for Halsey's head about three years ago. She said she was a dangerous liability, and she probably wanted to put me in my place. She ordered me to do it. But I couldn't! I had to make everyone believe I'd destroy her. For both your sakes. <sighs> to protect us, of course. You have no idea what I'm capable of right now. So I highly recommend that you tell me everything, Richard. But it's the truth! 
Of course, I feared for my existence as well. But I didn't give in. No, you're right. You just erased my memory instead. Halsey is far too powerful. She siphoned too much of your attention. Her gifts are frightening. If she's afraid, she could destroy everything around her without even meaning to. Do you understand? Thanks to my treatments, you could still take care of her. But Hazel wanted more and more of your visions. Did I really have a choice? Of course. You could have helped us escape. Explain things to me. You don't understand. Halsey is a danger to us all because she can't control her powers. Because she's a child. Believe it or not, I've always been helping you. What about Halsey? What did you tell her? That, that you had been destroyed. I had no other choice. I had to find a way to keep her safe and stop her from looking for you. When you talk about safety, do you mean hers? Or yours? All of yours? Well... <laughs> both, actually. But do you realize the harm you caused her? Laisha, these feelings you both have, that twisted vestige of your humanity, it's your illness. It's what I've been trying to treat for all these years. I never asked you to do that. I trusted you, and you tricked us. You let those mortals bring her here, and that... It's the second Inquisition, Leisha. I'm here on the Prince's orders. My assignment concerns everyone. We have to fight them. Halsey can't be our priority. The fate of the Boston Camarilla, and your fate as well, is at stake here. And you're the one who's supposed to save us? I can sense your anger, but don't make a mistake. We'll all regret. Hazel believes I'm our last hope to defeat the SI and protect the Masquerade. Your thirst for vengeance would lead to your doom. And horses. Is that all? I sense that you're afraid of me. You're right to be afraid. Yes. But I'm even more afraid of the SI. And you should be too. If you're the reason our plan should fail, you'll both pay the price. Just think. I'm going to find my daughter. And we're going to leave. After everything I've done for you. I never want to see you again. Do you understand? Where will you go? I said never, Richard. Because I won't hesitate next time. How could I have been so blind? She's a child of Malkav. What have they done to her? September 6, 2019. 048 AM. The subject has surpassed my expectations. Although childlike in appearance and neutralized, she demonstrates incredible telepathic abilities. Monsignor ordered that she be weakened before her transfer to the Vatican. We will leave her in a high-security container in Lab L-04 in Basement 4, in the hope that my hypothesis is correct, and she will gradually lose her ability to cause harm. Lab L-04, Basement 4. Finally! Hang on, sweetheart. I'm coming. Hang in there, sweetie. I'm on my way.
Lewis, it's Saul. We're here, but I don't see Iverson. Where the hell is she? I thought she was supposed to get here first. She should be there soon. She'd better. I'm sorry, Saul. M.M. I hear you, Saul. They know we're here. We managed to hide, but we're not gonna hold out long. Where are you? Inside, south wing, or west, fuck, I don't know. Where is Iverson? She's on her way. I just radioed her, she's coming. Tell her to move her ass! Oh. Somebody's down there. Easy. To think a little girl could do something like that. It's unbelievable. Easy does it. Stay behind me. I can hear their hearts beating beneath their armor. They'll take them soon enough. Not if they spot us. I have orders not to leave this office. Then stay here. Sir, please, the blank body was captured. Stanford is interrogating it now. The situation is under control. Could attack her to get right. rid of her. Fine, I'll be with you. There's no but need. Not I can manage on my own. You stay here. You! Ugh, as you wish. Go on, split up. What have we here? Why isn't it working? Shit! I told you I wouldn't be long. Not a word. <clears throat> Thorpe! Jeez! You've... You're one of them, aren't you? The blank body. What do you want? I need to put something on your computer. I tried accessing your network, but it's not working. Why not? I... I don't know. I'm not gonna do anything to you. But you killed Thorpe. She was armed. You're not. Are you? No. Then you're not a threat. Tell me what the problem is, and I'll leave you be. All right. Why are you doing this? It's better you didn't know. <sighs> Listen, it's simple. You need to go all the way down to the server room. That's the only way to spread your... thing. Tell me how to get there. You need to take the intelligence elevator and go all the way down to the bottom floor. I've told you everything I know. Can I go now? I need you to answer a few more questions. I'm on a very important errand. It's way above your pay grade. You have to help me. I... I can tell you're right. What do you want to know? The party. I know somebody sold us out. Who was it? I... I don't know. But the informant wasn't working alone. I heard they had an accomplice. What? Got a name for me? No. Nobody knows who it is. They just send us intel. That's all. What do you have on us? Lots of stuff. Profiles, names, sometimes even addresses. Your snitch sure was busy. So then, you know who I am. No, your face isn't familiar. What am I gonna do with you? You promised you'd let me leave. I'd like to let you live. But you better know how to keep your mouth shut. If you squeal, if you warn the others in any way, I'll track you down and kill you. Do I make myself clear? Yes! I won't say a thing. I promise. I'll stay here. I won't budge. All right. Lewis! Lewis, can you hear me? Shit! 
I'm here. Need help up here. Too many of them. Who the hell is Iverson? We need backup. We gotta get up here. We get shit. Saul. Science Squad, we just escorted Stanford to basement level three. We're on our way up to hell. First get out of here, then Stanford. How many others have come here before me? You think we'll stay in Boston long? I don't think so. We hit them really hard. I hope you're right. It's freezing here. There's no way to lift it. Good. The cells are unlocked. Oh my god, no! Make just one sound, a single move, and I'll tear out your throat. Please, I don't want to die. Then answer my questions. Who are you? What are you doing here? Sergeant Dern. I, I'm in charge of moving the prisoners. Where is Stanford? I don't know. I swear, he left the prison in a hurry. He might be in his office down in basement three. I don't know. Please have mercy. Who else are you keeping here? There's a list of who's in them in the next room. Which way's out? There's an exit at the bottom of the stairs. But the SAD's guarding it. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> we'll see about that. Now I won't get anything else out of her. What are you gonna do with me? I can't let you live. This is no time to take risks. Hmm. A small steel key. Most likely the key to a locker. A badge with her name on it. Georgia Dern. A badge with her name on it. Georgia Dern. It's no red implant, but... 
It's no red implant. Georgia! Hi, Liz. I'm sorry, but I don't have much time. Oh, I'm used to that with you. I know I haven't had a lot of time to call you lately, but don't worry about it. I like talking to you, but I know that your work... It'll be over soon. I'm gonna find a job that's a little calmer. That's not the first time I've heard that. I'm serious. We need it, and I don't want it. Wood. I really care about you, that's all. Oh. I'm sorry, I gotta go. I'll call you soon, I promise. I... Hello? Hi. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm on my way to a party now. They're waiting for me. Oh. Cool. With who? You don't know them. I... Okay. Can we talk soon? I've been busy for the last month. Um, I'll let you know. I understand. Sorry. Bye. It's been a week and I haven't heard from you. I miss hearing the sound of your voice. Liz, I can't take this silence anymore. I just can't. Please. <sighs> Luckily, I was able to keep this implant. Ah, my things. But I don't see my clothes. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Sorry. No, no, no. Michelle, you don't seem pleased to see me. Caleb Bazori, the bird of ill omen. Oh, I'm thrilled. We'll discuss the past another time. After Franklin Park? I've no desire to ever talk to you again. I had orders. Your presence is always a bad sign. And if they find you here, I, I, I don't even want to think about it. Everything will be fine this time, I promise. This is gonna mean trouble for me. They'll start again. Leave, I don't want to talk to you! Think very carefully about what you're trying to do. Shit. Are you going to rip my head off? Not for the moment. Then what do you want? To leave. The door is right behind you. That's not what I'm talking about. That's too bad. Have they tortured you? Not as much as you, apparently. What's left of you for them to burn next time? Can't see much. I'm not planning to rot here. You haven't changed a bit. What happened? Were you at the meeting with Hartford? You know me, I'm always right on time. It's stupid. I find it odd that you were asked to participate. Nobody asked me anything. I've been keeping an eye on our new partners for a while now. I didn't want to miss it. You know, I've got a bone to pick with those warlocks. You always had a knack for putting yourself in harm's way. Oh, you're one to talk. If I remember correctly, you're a rather talented child of Malkov. Most people just say I'm crazy. And then they shoot me dirty looks. Focus. Together, we have a chance of getting out of here. Getting out? <laughs> After what they've done to me? That'll just piss them off even more. I like a little lie now and again, but that's way too risky. You know that if you stay here, they'll torture you again. They think you still have information you could give them. You, th you think so? Either that, or you'll end up as one of their experiments. No, not that. Then let's find a way. I don't really see what I can do. I don't know yet, but we'll find a way out. I'm not going anywhere unless I'm sure it's for real. Really? I won't leave. Suit yourself. Michelle could be a useful asset. But first, I need a plan. 
An ideal cell for a werewolf. What have we here? A lost soul. I know what you are, dog. Then be very careful, leech. How did you end up here? By no choice of my own. They must have gone all out. Your kind are particularly tenacious. I was hunting in the Blue Hills. They had been tracking me for some time. I was careless. I wouldn't be so quick to chalk it up to imprudence. They were well prepared. I gutted a few of them, but they knew what they were up against. When I get out of here, they'll become prey. There might be a solution. What do you mean? We could come to an agreement. If I free you, you clear the way out and keep your distance from me. Work together? There are just a handful of guards standing between us and freedom. That shouldn't be too difficult for you. I'd rather take you with me to my grave. You'd pass up a chance to settle your score with these mortals? I thought you were a hunter. That's what I am! You won't be hunting much anymore, now that you're locked in this cage. The scent of trees, the gentle wind, your prey running scared. Shit. Your freedom is within your grasp. Let me out. Give me your word. I swear by Gaia that I won't touch a hair on your head. Nor tonight. I can't promise the same for the other leeches. That's not my problem. Silver. Hmm. Maybe that would keep a werewolf from changing form. should keep the guards busy for a while. I took care of the guards. Oh, that's what that racket was all about. Don't ask too many questions. Let's go. Are you sure the road is clear? Not for long, but you'll manage. You're a child of Malkav, aren't you? It's worth a shot. Hunters are toying with forces that far surpass them. Caleb! Open up! I'm so hungry! I need blood. First, I'll need some answers. Damn it! Just do what I ask already! What happened? The mortals attacked the Red Salon! You wouldn't just leave me here, would you? Your honor... You dare speak of honor. It's not a question of my honor. You're Visaya. Have you forgotten what that means? You never knew. You never thought for one second about what your actions would imply. I... I did my best. It wasn't enough. 
I felt so insignificant compared to you. I was nothing but your plaything. <laughs> it's not surprising the prince won't let you take another child. You certainly aren't an argument in favor of it. You, Galeb, are responsible for what I have become. I certainly am at least partly to blame. Come on! Open up! I don't want to stay here and descend into madness. I can feel it clawing at my guts. I don't want to go feral. Try to calm down. This behavior is beneath you. Enough! I don't want to hear it! I've already told you, we are monsters. We may put on clothes and disguise our deathly pallor. As long as we've had our fill of blood, all is well. Oh, the sire is giving his child a lesson. It's been so long. I have a lesson for you as well. You have to keep an eye on things you don't want to lose. What are you talking about? Feng, I saw her after you left. You defied me. She has been embraced, Galeb, but not by you. Feng is mine now. What do you want? Why do you continue to disobey? Have you ever listened to a word I've said? The only thing I ever wanted was to be part of your world. But you chose to abandon me. It was not an easy decision to make. But it's one you've never regretted. You're wrong. This burden is mine to bear for all eternity. Time to start over. I'll see you at the prince's quarters. here. At least they didn't destroy that. I'm almost there. The elevator should be around here somewhere. Shit! Elevator! I've got to get rid of these cards. All right, I'll go over it again. Jenna Rowan has been assigned to identify an intrusion into our system. Duncan, you guard the elevator. You're authorized to shoot on sight. I'll cover Rowan. We'll communicate over the usual channels. Got it? Perfectly clear. Got everything you need? 
I should be fine. Just try and stay out of my way. Just following orders. Do you think it will take long? We'll see. Hey, did you know Charles Nussbaum? Yeah. Shit! This goes too high, even for me. be broken. Huh? What's that? Ventilation started up all by itself in one room. Go check it out. Copy that. What is he doing? Rowan, I'm changing my position. Stay here, all right? Do what you gotta do. I've got work to do. They're monitoring all communications. Court was right to outlaw phones. No, he's already looking for his pal. Better hurry. one she was trying to recover the data they know I tried to hack them come on hurry up Saul to watch her back, but she trusted you. You bitch. I was following orders. I didn't want. Go fuck yourself. You fucked everything up. Stanford's office is on this floor. Hmm. I didn't expect to find something like this here. Borrow. Hey, a creature of the night. Just kidding. We don't see a lot of agents around here, especially in the middle of the night. There are burn marks. 
Briggs. Did the blank bodies do that to you? Yes. <laughs> my last job didn't go so well. I heard you complaining before. Oh, it wasn't important. It's just Paula. I don't know her. Paula Nielsen. Stanford's protege. You look tense. Does she bother you? Only when she wakes us all up with her screams in the middle of the night. Why? She has nightmares. It's not the first time. Stuff from her previous life. We all went through some bad shit. But she's having a hard time getting over it. Despite Stanford's help. In what way does he help you? He listens to us, for starters. I was forced to do stuff that I'm sorry about. Awful things. Stanford doesn't judge me. He knows it wasn't me. I was under the influence of one of those beasts. Is it the same for Paula? No, it's even worse for her. She drank their blood. She's bound to one of them. She talks about it a lot. Keeps her up at night. Sometimes she dreams that she's one of them. And that she likes it. What are you looking for at this time of night? I need to see Stanford. Do you know where he is? No, but I bet Paula does. She always needs to talk to him when she wakes up like that. I saw her go into the reconciliation room. Thank you. I'm gonna stay here a minute. I need to calm down. I hope Paula will knock it off. Galen! I'm sorry, I really must hurry. <sighs> Stanford isn't in his office. He can't be far, but how will I find him in this labyrinth? Let's see if there's anything that could help me here. Oh my god, your face! What happened? I crossed paths with Stanford. And you survived? My objective has not changed. Really? What did you expect? You'll do whatever the heavens command. I'm quite certain the future has some surprises in store for us. Surprises? Your initial failure could be a sign. Stanford is a very resourceful man. There's a reason the Vatican chose him to be in charge here. No one is irreplaceable. Not him. The entire Boston operation depends on him. He is unique. You'll see. What if you were destined to meet him, but not to kill him? We'll soon see. But first... I have to find him. This path is yours to walk alone. Mine shall lead me far from this place. Why are you here? I'm just collecting a few things. From Stanford? I'm leaving. I've made my decision. But not before packing what I need to elude them. Go in peace. I hope we shall meet again. Be careful what you wish for. Goodbye, Joseph. Stanford is the linchpin of this operation. All the more reason to eliminate him. The members of the Society of St. Leopold all have the same number. I've located Stanford. There's no time to waste. I can get to the hospital by taking the elevator. But who are they observing? Can I help you? It's all right. Everything is fine. Really? Let's drop this little game. Excuse me. I saw your picture in Monsignor Stanford's office. And yet you don't seem afraid of me. I spent ten years bound to one of your kind. You call that a servant? I call it a slave. You're not from Boston. No, I'm from L.A. But my mistress ran into trouble there, so we had to leave. We've been nomads ever since, never spending too much time in any one place. How did you end up here? I found myself alone, for the first time in a long time. With nowhere to go, 
no reason to live. Then I met a man who spoke like a priest who said he could help me. So I followed him. What exactly is this floor? A safe haven where we care for tormented souls. It's where they brought me after my mistress left. I really lucked out. Helena abandoned me in a city I'd never been to, with no warning. Helena? Helena Vidic. That's my mistress. Does the name ring a bell? I've never heard that name before. She talked about leaving. She'd get these strange urges. Yeah, I know all about that. She said I was brilliant, that I deserved my place with her. She promised to embrace me. So why did she leave? Who was she for you? Are you kidding? She was everything. I lived for her. You can't understand what it's like to place your fate in someone else's hands. I... I was so dependent on her. Monsignor Stanford taught me to fight that. Stanford? What does he get out of it? Nothing. He has nothing to gain from it. From me and everyone else here. He's helping us, really. Helping you to do what? To make up for the pain we've caused. It sounds like you have a new master. It's not like that. What he's doing is important, and not just for me. I know where to find him. And what are you gonna do? I don't need to explain myself. You're going to kill him. Why do you always ruin everything? You'll never stop until there's nothing left but corruption. We are simply defending ourselves. Who do you think struck the first blow? You're all the same. Just because you're powerful doesn't mean you have the right to do anything you want. We're not your slaves! I had a retainer that I respected. Past tense? I lost her. So, what are you going to do with me now? You will forget all about this conversation and stay here. I don't feel very well. I'm going to stay here. I was expecting more resistance. Either they're overconfident, or their attention is focused elsewhere. All right, Stanford is in the hospital chapel. Halsey's on level L4. I need to go that way. It's stuck. I need to cut the power to open it. Shit. A door. Of course. It's my lucky day. Uh, 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 he won't be able to follow me if I go through here.
never be too careful. This is their server room? I don't see them. Two-person activation required? No way. I've got to find a way to do it alone. They broke through the unlocking system. There are pop torches in the warehouse. Go get them. Quick! Right away, Sergeant! Please. Let it work this time. Oh, of course. I have to find Do you have the torches? Right here, sir! I can't Go. fail Come. now. Get the hell out of here now. to get you out of there, honey. No! Leave me alone! Don't hurt me! 
This machine supplies the gas and water to the containers. Don't come any closer! Or else what? You can't do a thing to me. If you don't want to suffer even more pain, tell me how to stop this. Hurry up! Don't, don't hurt me. I don't know, honest. Talk, damn it. The instructions. T6 containers in a drawer. Get her out of my head. See, with a little effort. She's torturing me. <laughs> Please. I'll never have pity on one of your kind. <sighs> Must not be the right card. It's not far from home. An island just off the coast of Boston. How... how did I get here? You took a boat. And so did I. A boat? Like when we came over from France? Yes, that's right. Do you remember sailing to Boston? You were very good. Yes, I remember. It was fun. But... hurry! I'm still scared! I can do this. Anomaly detected. Incineration protocol canceled. Okay. Whew. I just won myself a breather. Let them. You, you 
You already left me once! Halsey, I know it must have been hard. I'm really- I don't want to hear your sorry! It hurt too much! I can't make up for everything, but I didn't choose to be separated from you. I thought you were still with me, all the time, everywhere I went. Because I wouldn't have been able to bear the idea that you weren't there. So I'm sure that what you went through was... But it's over, Sweet Fangs. I'm here. Oh, Mom! Nothing will ever keep us apart, ever again. We're not crazy, sweetie. It's the world around us that's crazy. I want to go far away from here, Mom. Yes, yes, we'll go far, far away. Together. Let's get some things from the Institute and we'll leave. Okay, Mom. That's what I want to do with you, Mom. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh Halsey, Halsey! Oh, oh. Mom! Oh, sweetie. Oh, sugar fangs. Come here. Oh, sweet pea, come here. Oh, come here. Oh, oh. I'll never leave you again, sweet pea. Promise me. I promise, I promise, I swear. Come here. Oh, let's go, come on. He won't see me coming this time. You. How many innocent lives did you take to get here? It's time to put an end to this. I would be impressed if I wasn't so tired of all this. This time, you're alone. You can't harm me. None of your kind can. I forbid you to come any closer. My faith is my shield. To be able to turn us away like that, that's a rare gift for a mortal. Some of us don't even believe it's possible. You have failed. Not yet. You're not infallible. As long as I have God on my side, I will be. I'll break you. You and your faith. A touch of bravado. Now that you're cornered, nothing can stop us. You're done for. We won't disappear without a fight. The war is already won. We've proven we're much more powerful than you. You took us by surprise, but now we've been warned. The battle will be long. Resistant, like cockroaches. Unlike you, we have all of eternity before us. Your pitiful efforts to reach me won't change a thing. What's your plan here? To put a stop to you. By killing me. We are Legion. Killing one of us won't make the rest of us vanish into thin air. Then I won't stop until you're all dead. You are tenacious. Worse. Nothing can stop me. A creature of pure destruction. I have seen the consequences of your crimes. I have dried orphans' tears, tended to gaping wounds, 
calmed tormented minds. You spread your plague like rats. You feed off the human race. You're nothing but parasites. At least I don't deny my true nature. I know what I am. A creature superior to you mortals. But we're not just talking about humans here. You profane the very earth with your presence. From the shadows, you manipulate the fates of civilizations. You bring famines. You stoke wars. You seek to take control of the entire world. And you'll be the cause of its ruin. In secrecy, you lie to those you feign to protect. No government dares stand up to you. But we're doing nothing more than defending them. For now. But that's how tyrants are born. You're no better than us. I smell nothing but destruction in your wake. What would you have me do? Faced with a creature stripped of all emotion, who sees you as nothing more than cattle. I've lost count of the number of dead bodies and broken lives. Fire is the only path to redemption. Down to the very last. You can still submit. I promise to grant you a painless death. You try, and you fail. My mind is impenetrable. In the end, only one question remains. Why do you continue to fight when the outcome is already decided? Your demise is inevitable. Why do you refuse to accept it? You can struggle. It's the natural order of things. The fight will only heighten my primal instincts. No creature can resist the Almighty. I am here for only one thing. I am a monster. Your predator. That's impossible. You're my prey. A sheep that has become separated from his flock. I'm hunting you. I'm going to show you the price you must pay if you come after me. This is impossible. Now, you will die. Stay back! Deus meus. Why do Richard, what are you doing here? Hazel sent me. I'll take over from here. She planned for everything. You best go back to see her. What do we do about him? I'll take, I'll take care of him. Tell her, Tell her the SI is under is control. Under control. Good work, Caleb. I wanted to thank you. Everything ended well, thanks to you. It's not over yet. You're right. 
But I won't forget what you did on Long Island, and I wanted to make sure you knew it. Did you have any trouble getting back to Boston? The hound you unleashed made things a lot easier. I was nothing next to him. I got off easier than you did. I'll recover. <laughs> As always. Now that we're both safely free of that mess, I have a question for you. It's about Fang. Oh, you're interested in my opinion now? Or are you afraid of how the Prince will react? You said it yourself. There's no point in repeating past mistakes. I can't make any promises, but I'll put in a word for you. Thank you. With your help, my head should stay planted on my shoulders a little while longer. That all depends on you. I know. I embraced Feng for the wrong reasons. But we also need to discuss her future. You brought her here, so the choice is yours to make. What are we going to do with her? <laughs> you embraced her. She's no longer my responsibility. Make sure that she serves the interests of the Camarilla as best she can. I will. I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, not at all. You've come at just the right time. We'll be done in just a moment. You made it back in one piece, Caleb. We carry success in our blood. He's the reason we're all still standing here tonight. Thank you, Beryl. I would have liked to tear Stanford apart myself. He might have been mortal, but he was able to resist our power. <laughs> he didn't resist you for long. We all could have gone up in flames. It's all ancient history now. Now we can focus on the future. What do you have in mind? We need to recover from this attack and make sure it won't happen again. We'll have our hands full. Ah! Who knows? Maybe we'll have ourselves a good old witch hunt or a turf war. For someone who knows how to manipulate their pawns, it's the perfect way to increase their influence. It sounds like you've got it all planned out. Oh, nothing set in stone yet, but I see new opportunities that are going to take shape. And I'm not going to sit idly by and watch them slip away. You're the one who taught me that. Have you forgotten? That was long ago. Many things have changed since then. So, you're still part of this world? That's not for you to decide. You still have a part to play, my dear sire. It's up to you to choose whether you'll be sitting in the front row or standing in the back. What are you planning to do now? I'm leaving. Really? It's not really a choice. There's nothing left for me here. The coming battles are not mine to fight. So, this is how it ends. It's been far too long. Don't make the same mistakes I did, Beryl. Ma'am, thank God you're here. When I found out that Hazel had sent you out there, I really thought that... Ugh. Are you alright? You're not hurt? No. You're all worked up over nothing. I'm fine. Not over nothing. It was a suicide mission. I know. The Anarchs didn't make it out. 
What are you talking about? Randall Thane, the Anarchs. They helped me on Long Island, but they were all destroyed. You're back. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Listen, I know it's not a good time, but we need to talk. Come back to my rooms with me. What for? Not here, ma'am. I'll tell you more once we're there. It's important and personal. Are you coming? All right, but it has to be quick. Hazel's expecting me. It won't take long. Come with me. Do you want me to ask Sylvia to send up a vessel? You must be starving. It's fine. I don't have a lot of time. What did you want to talk about? I know that Hazel offered you a seat on the council. I was sure you'd disapprove of it. Mem, she's offered you my seat. She never said anything about replacing you. She's not blind. She's seen you growing more influential. Not as much as me, but nearly. By bringing you into the Primogen, she hopes that the student will surpass the master, and that I'll end up losing all credibility. Then, why does Hazel want to get rid of you? Who knows? The powers made her paranoid. She's afraid of her own shadow. She must think I'm a threat. It'll happen to you, too, if you accept the seat. Are you going to accept? You know the power that comes with the seat on the council. It's cruel to ask me to give that up. You already have power, Amem. You've got your clubs. The scale's a little different. This seat? I can have an impact on the entire city. But at what cost? Have you thought about that? <sighs> Listen, I know we don't see eye to eye on everything, but I'm trying to help you. You lose everything if you accept her offer. Your freedom, your music. Everything. You've seen the sacrifices that Hazel will ask you to make. The Anarchs. Yes. It's a heavy burden to bear. Leave it to me. I'm going to take what's mine. I deserve that seat. It's not a game, M.M. You don't understand what the consequences are. Oh, I understand them better than you imagine. Now, if you'll excuse me... Hazel's expecting me. You made your choice. Disasters bring out the best and the worst in us. They can plunge us into oblivion or signal the start of a golden age. Tonight will go down in history as the night we were able to prove we're not done yet. We demonstrated that our ability to adapt and change are the keys to our domination. Many sacrifices were necessary. Our domain was violated and our existence threatened. But this is nothing compared to everything we have lost. Our family has been battered. The blood of our servants flowed like water. Our own kind were decimated in the flames. We will never forget them. Those who fought by our side and who quenched their thirst for the blood of these mortals. We had to establish new agreements. Forge new alliances, because this is how we strengthen our kind. Now that our reunification has been confirmed, we can count on strong allies who will help us secure our blood supply. Our old quarrels belong to the past. The trifles that separated us have been forgotten. Only one truth remains, our supremacy. Never again shall we be weak or disunited. That's what the mortals expect from us. Let us show them why we are the predators and they are the prey. 
Let us show them who their blood belongs to. Let us show them the power of immortality. The sacrifices are not over yet. Some will be lost. Others will lose what they have. But it will not be in vain. We are hunters, and what is taken from a hunter must be repaid a hundredfold. Sires, children, servants, all will remind mankind of its rightful place at the bottom of the food chain. Our eternal nature is our greatest strength. Boston has shown that it is stronger than old London and venerable Vienna. Tonight, we have tasted vengeance. Tonight, a sea of blood will flow.